happening from Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center, where tonight it's a midweek matchup between top five teams as number three Hawaii plays host to the number fifth ranked Cardinal of Stanford. And this is Game On, presented by Bank of Hawaii for Rainbow Warrior Volleyball. Hi, everybody. Happy Hump Day. Scott Robbs along with James Anastasiadis, and we welcome back Ryan Kalei Suji, Hawaii Stanford. Should be a good one here tonight. Of course, Hawaii, quick turnaround having played just on Sunday, wrapping up a two match series against Tusculum. Pretty one sided, both matches. And you see the scores there. Hawaii winning handily. And let's take a look back to those two matches. I think they did well. Good opportunity for both Louis and Keone to play. Uh, pretty much the entire time, you know, and to have our third and fourth outside hitters out there the whole time and still be able to be productive and efficient, um, I think bodes well going forward. It was good to use our depth, kind of get our older guys a little rest, um, and they played they played very well. You got to see some of the future of Keone and uh, Louis. They played very good for our standards. Uh, yeah, it was just good to see our depth. Kinda, it's not depth if you don't use it. First night we had Keone that had seven aces, and then second night I think we had Kurt has six aces. So um, it's really cool to see like talent that our guys have on it. Like um, Louis' first game, he dropped nine, eight or nine aces. Like it's just cool that every any night somebody can go off and just get after it. So. Um, and, uh, I mean, for the most part, a lot of our guys are serving inbound at a pretty high percentage, which, uh, which Charlie like preaches. You know, at times we played really clean, but as you start bringing more guys in, and uh, we got a lot of guys in over the weekend, um, some of that's going to drop off a little bit, but overall I thought it was pretty clean. Well, Hawaii went pretty handily. I thought they played well in all aspects. What did you take away from those two matches? The biggest takeaway for me was that Hawaii's bench is very deep. We saw Luis Sakano go out there and Keone Dim, two really big serving subs, but we were able to see them come in and they did a fantastic job passing, which is one of the biggest worries with your backup outsides. But they took care of that serve receive against a fairly decent Tusculum serving team. And I think moving forward, Charlie has a little bit more ease if he's ever gonna have to make a sub that he could throw them in and they're gonna do a fantastic job. I think one of the biggest things as well was you just looked at the scores. I mean, even though Hawaii put in its second string, uh, Hawaii dominated in all aspects of the game and the reflection was in those scores. Sometimes Tuscalum in the single digits, but more than anything else, they provided that opportunity for Spiros and Chaz to get some time to rest their legs. This is a long season, and anytime you're able to rest your starters like that, it's only bodes well for the future, especially coming into tonight's match. Yeah, I was gonna say, does those do those two matches get Hawaii ready for what they're gonna see tonight and Friday? I don't know that it gets you ready, per se, with the competition on the other side of the net. It certainly helps prepare them. Hawaii will see tough competition, I think, a tougher competition, I should say, in their own practice gym, preparing for the Stanford match rather than the match last weekend. It definitely allows Spiros and Chaz, though, sending them out last week, gave them the opportunity to get their bodies feeling a little bit more close to 100%, because let's be honest, throughout this brutal season, no one's gonna feel 100%, but coming into the Stanford game, one of their biggest uh, challenges yet this season, I think it was good that they were able to rest them up, and again, we don't know what goes behind the scenes in the practice gym, but like you said, Ryan, I think that B-side competition, like Louis and Keone Tim, is what prepared them most for this game. I think also another thing last week did, Ryan, was solidify that opposite position. I know a couple of weeks ago, we saw Louis play that one match on the opposite, and I think at least James and I anointed him the starting opposite. You said, hey, pump the brakes, he's only a freshman. You were right, and Alakai has played lights out. Well, I think one of the things that you get with Alakai Todd is consistent Consistency, and we have seen that from his hitting percentages and just how dependable he has been in that opposite position. I think with Louis, you're going to see some of these streaks where he'll have fantastic nights, but he's going to make a lot of errors as a freshman. He's still trying to find the value of a neutral, as Charlie Wade would like to say. And Alakai Todd, being a fifth-year senior, not only understands that, but has mastered it. You know, I, you talked about the two second string, if you will, or whatever, left side hitters in Louis and Keone Thim. Because they perform so well, if there happen to be issues with Chaz or Spiros tonight early, do you think Charlie now feels a little bit more confident to bring him in maybe earlier than he would if need be? 
I definitely think he would, especially, and again, like I said earlier, was the passing. I think that's always been the hesitation with Keone and maybe a little bit with Louis. We haven't seen him too much in that passing rotation, but they did a fantastic job, and I know it's something they've both been working on a lot this entire season. It does give Charlie a little bit ease of mind, knowing that they can come in and the level's not going to drop. So again, I don't think Chaz or Spiros are not going to perform tonight. Stanford is a slight rivalry for them. They had a heated game against them last season, so I think we're going to see two different different animals from those two. By far the toughest opponent Hawaii has faced to this point of the season should be a good one. Hawaii and Stafford and of course the duel calling the action, Kanoa and Chris, guys. Hey, thanks a lot, Scott. Yeah, next to C-Mac, Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy and uh, C-Mac, uh, the big topic of discussion in part, certainly the load management approach that Charlie Wade took in the two matches against Tusculum and we'll see how that pays off, but it was interesting talking to Spiros Hakas, right, uh, who admits, he's like, hey, look, I'm a senior now, I'm getting up there a little <laughs> bit, I can use some of the rest. Uh, he wasn't exactly protesting being held out of those two matches, especially knowing that Stanford was on the other side. Yeah, he's really grown up. A couple of years ago, you couldn't have kept him off the court with anything. <laughs> he, he's just uh, such a competitor, but uh, I think he really did enjoy and make the best use of that time off. Yeah, and this is a guy who is climbing a lot of the uh, all-time career charts uh, for Hawaii, including uh, two aces away from top 10 uh, status uh, in that category. And so a guy who has put together uh, quite the career. What do you expect from him here as the level of competition on the other side of the net picks up? I expect that Spiros will step it up. He'll play like he did against Ball State earlier on and Chicago. You know, he just ramps up. Uh, wherever the competition level is, he jumps to that level as well and tries to go over it. He's so competitive, let me tell you. He, uh, I, th I think his, uh, his attacking in the beginning, I think Kanoa might be a little bit rusty because he hasn't played competitively in this gym in a while but it won't take long to knock that rust off. Well, he'll, uh, be, he'll be good tonight, trust me. We got a peek uh, at Hawaii without their top hitter, Spiros Hakas, and unfortunately for Stanford, we're gonna be getting another look at their team without their top hitter, Will Rotman, two-time All-American, one of the most prolific outside hitters in the country, not with the team due to injury here this week, C-Mac. Yeah, he's got some lower leg injuries, is what costs you told us, um, and he is, Talk about prolific, he's been a two-time All-American, uh, All-MPSF, he was National Player of the Week a couple weeks ago. I mean, he's just a force. He's at four kills per set. You know, he's got their, their ace leader. They're, they're losing a lot. Whoever steps into his shoe, shoes is, are stepping into some very large shoes. Yeah, uh, you see the uh, head coach for Stanford in his 18th season, John Costi, and what he told us, well, it's just gonna put a little bit more pressure and responsibility on our setter, Nathan Litsky, a guy who has proven to be able to live up to some of those expectations over the course of his career. Yeah, Nathan's got a volleyball background. His mom played at, um, at uh, William, <clears throat> William and Mary at the University of Virginia. His dad runs the biggest, biggest volleyball club in, in Texas. So he's got a lot of volleyball genes in him. And uh, he's a good one. He's a fifth year senior, one of nine players who will be leaving the program this year. This is a, due to the, all the whole COVID thing and red shirting and yeah. all that. Nine guys, that's an amazing amount of experience on this roster. And that's what I think concerns Charlie the most. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun one. It always is Hawaii and Stanford, a top five matchup. Hawaii, Stanford. It's the C-Mac Bowl tonight, guys. <laughs> we'll see you at first serve. We'll send it back over to the corner crew. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Well, a reminder, prior to Friday's match, at four o'clock is the annual alumni game. This guy is gonna play in it. It should be worth the time to come out just to watch James, but we talked to Charlie about why it's so important to honor the past greats. It's good just to, again, show one more kind of example of how important this program is, how, how much it means to so many different people. Certainly the general public and the fans that all come out, but for the guys who put their blood, sweat, and tears into the program for years, um, it certainly means more. These are guys that were in my shoes 10, 15 years ago, and um, I think the biggest thing you can learn from guys that were in your shoes is lessons. Um, what did they do? What was successful? What wasn't successful? Um, what might be a good step for you in the future? What might not be. Yeah, I definitely want to just kind of talk to them, kind of experience what they've experienced. Um, most looking forward to Kupono out there. I want to see how he does, you know, see if he still got it. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to see some of the older, older guys. It means more to them as alums to, uh, 
to bring the guys back and have some of that camaraderie and, and be here and support the program. You know, they all still pay attention to what's going on. They follow the team regularly. So really nice to have them back in the building and uh, kind of reminisce a little bit about the glory days. All right, James, you played in this a couple of times now that you're an alum. Uh, what does it mean to you, though, in seriousness, to go out there and play with some of the guys that you played with and some of the guys that you never got a chance to play with but know all about? No, I mean, the biggest thing is that connection that you get. We talk about it a lot is these are going to be lifelong connections. They're the guys at your wedding. I mean, Ryan saw it at Capono's wedding in October. It was so many familiar faces from so many different generations. It's just getting to learn not only about the court stuff, but just about life. It's people that have been through the same program, been through the same struggles, kind of had to find their life path outside of this. I have no, I asked a lot of alumni from when I graduated about what life was like, trying to navigate that because coming outside of an athlete into the real world could be a little bit difficult. Being able to have those people that have been through your shoes. And again, in a program where the not only alumni connection throughout athletics is big, but just the alumni connection throughout UH is so big and passionate about helping each other out. It just means so much and definitely eases the hard navigation through life. Yeah, and it's always just fun seeing players playing in different positions. We're going to see Libero yes. playing middle. We're going to see <laughs> outside uh, setting. Outside. Yeah, it's always fun to just see uh, where athletes are and, and how much of them continue to keep in shape. Yeah, no question about that. So come on down a little early on Friday if you're coming out to the match, 4 o'clock. It is the annual alumni game. All right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to focus on the setters. But a reminder, make your plans to join us for Beeman's Big Pat Bash. It's UHUC Santa Barbara rematch of last year's Big West Conference Tournament Championship game, Saturday, February 17th, 7 o'clock, right here at Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. Trying to send attendance, Mark. Tickets are cheap. Come on up and support the Rainbow Wahine. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Ikene? Monikin? Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait, how do you spell it? Anakin. Is there a green one? Ah. Hakanen? Yes. At Bank of Hawaii, nothing's more important than the peace of mind knowing your hard-earned savings are safe and secure. So you can send a child down the aisle or a grandchild on the graduation trip of a lifetime. To help you save more and earn more, Bank of Hawaii is offering a special rate on our six-month CD special. So trust your hard-earned savings to the only bank in Hawaii ranked one of America's most trusted companies by Newsweek, Bank of Hawaii. You're watching Spectrum Sports. Different industries need different advertising. Spectrum Reach knows the difference. Data and insights that find your customers. Targeting capabilities across every screen. Whoa. Creative that resonates and cuts through the clutter. Measurable results that grow your business. Reach the right customers wherever they are, on every screen, for any industry. One advertising partner and done. Spectrum Reach. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. You guys have incredible fans and that probably an understatement is the fans and the support staff and so being a part of that is just different and I think that was a big reason on why I wanted to be specifically Hawaii and then of course the reason is four straight national championships I wanted to be a part of that culture of what's it like on off the court and then how's it like on the court and I was obviously excited to be a part of that this weekend playing a little bit more um, but always excited for opportunities. Well, the words of Kevin Cowling, the transfer from Lewis, as Hawaii gets ready to take on Stanford. UH, it's very, very fortunate to have two high-level setters who make each other better. 
That's the mindset you gotta have. You gotta go into it expecting that you can compete and just going through it every day, working hard, uh, kind of tagging along to the older guys, uh, just kind of learning from them as fast as you can. The grind every day and pushing each other to be better setters, it's ultimately su super fun to be around. And uh, Tred's a super talented player. He gets a lot of blocks, he gets a lot of guys solos. Um, and that's super exciting to be around because obviously I got up my game every time I play. And, I, I hope to push him as well. He's been a great mentor to me. He's one of the coolest guys I've ever met. Uh, super down to earth, super mellow guy. And uh, it's been great having a more experienced guy in my corner kind of help me with the reins a little more. Uh, you'll see him every once in a while holding me off to the side, give me a little few tips just to keep everyone in check on the court. So yeah, it's definitely great to have a, a kind of older brother mentor. All right, let's take a look at Hawaii's two setters. First, Tred Rosenthal, the freshman, and the start. He has started all nine matches so far this year. Twice already named Freshman of the Week in the Big West Conference. And Kevin Cowling using his final year to transfer to the University of Hawaii. He was an All-American a season ago at Lewis. Got a chance to play in a couple of sets last Sunday. And here's more on Kevin. Aside from being a really good volleyball player, nice athlete, got a high motor, like he goes hard the whole time, he really is a professional. You know, he shows up every day, works really hard um, in everything that he does, and uh, you know, it's been uh, it's been great having him in the gym, and um, you know, really has made us a better team. Maybe my first season, but I definitely am an older guy. I'm 22. I'm turning 23 this week, um, and I think the biggest thing is older guys respect me, um, and. I wouldn't say that younger guys aren't respected as much, but you have a voice because you've been around for four years and you've played in a lot of matches and All-American, Final Four, like all that stuff. And um, it's, it's a different feel for sure. Like I said, being adjusting to coaches and culture, but at the same time, it's easier to adjust because you've been around for a while. Pull up a seat as we sit on the coach's couch. It is sponsored by Heineken. We got a chance to talk to Kevin Cowling in the corner on Sunday. And just give me your overall thoughts of what he brings to the program. I think, like he mentioned, he does bring a sense of experience, even though he's not starting. Again, this is a person who is four-time All-American. He played at one of the most prestigious programs, Lewis, who's been very historic in men's volleyball. He does have that also big sense of professionalism and I think we saw it in his interview very well spoken but also understands the game more he's really taking up his role and he does talk to the freshman on the sidelines he's able to give him that extra eye that you might not be able to see in the game I think one of the things that he provides is just another leader on this team even though having only been in the program for just this his first season he brings that leadership and that skill set. This is a setter that can play on any team in the country. Unfortunately, he's behind a protege and <laughs> someone who, a 17 year old who many think could be the next starting setter for Team USA. Uh, and so for Kevin, I mean, he's finding himself in a new position. And I think you can't ask for anything better uh, as a coach is to have a player that's that supportive and being a mentor to not only Tread, but to the entire team. Yeah, your backup setter is a returning All-American <laughs> at the University of Hawaii. Hawaii's in good hands with both those guys. Guys. All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll get you set. It's Hawaii number three and number five, Stanford. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say pizza what? At Kaiser Permanente, our connected team approach allows us to understand the different aspects of your care. The level of communication we have, it's coordinated, multidisciplinary care. It's really the future of medicine. It's not just patient-centered care, it's patient-driven. We're not just treating conditions. Understanding the whole person builds trust and leads to better outcomes. We all work together to care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Too hot for you, boy? Better call Steve's. Steve's Plumbing and AC are the island expert when it comes to keeping you cool and dry. We offer same-day service from the island's most trusted team. Your honor can expect a technician that's clean, prompt, 
and always with aloha. This month, get your air condition running right with Steve's Workmanship's Guaranteed AC Tune-Up for only $79. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahoo. Pizza what? Pizza what? Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say pizza what? At Spectrum News, we're committed to strengthening the fabric of local communities through our coverage. Watch your favorite local sports on your smart TV and connected devices, streaming live 24-7 on Spectrum Sports and OC16. With on-demand weather forecasts and news that matters on the Spectrum News mobile app. Keeping you informed throughout the day, Spectrum News, your community connection. Exclusively for Spectrum customers. Now available on your favorite devices. Time Out for Health is brought to you by Hawaii Pacific Health. Hi, my name is Jilly Noy. I'm a sports medicine physician at the Hawaii Pacific Health Bone and Joint Center at Palimomi. Today we're talking about running a little bit. Running is a great form of exercise. It has many benefits, however, with running, sometimes there can be associated injuries. I want to talk to you today a little bit about iliotibial band syndrome or IT band syndrome. The IT band goes from the outside of your hip to the outside of your knee, so it can cause both hip and knee pain. But there are some things that we can do to decrease your risk of getting these injuries, and one of those is dynamic stretching. One of the dynamic stretches we can show you today, I have Sherry here with us, and she'll be going over the stretch. So what you want to do is you kind of want to kick up your leg while keeping your knee straight. And you can do this about 10 to 12 times for each side. After you exercise, there's another stretch that you could do to help the IT band. It's the side bending stretch. So you actually want to put the sore leg behind the leg that's not sore and stretch to the opposite side. Again, running is a great form of exercise. Those stretches are some ways that we can decrease our risk in addition to making sure you have good rest days and not doing too much too fast. Thank you very much and stay safe. Big midweek matchup here in Manoa is number five, number three Hawaii plays host to number five Stanford. Time now for the scouting report. Let's get the scoops on the Cardinal. They're off to a great start. You know, we played virtually the same team last year up at their place, but uh, a really talented team led by Will Rotman, who's, um, you know, one of the COVID seniors and, you know, national team level, six rotation point score. Um, that's a pretty veteran group for them. They've had the same core group now for several years and, uh, and clearly one of the best teams in the country. All right, James, tell us all about Stanford. For the Cardinals, we do have Will Rotman, who unfortunately did not make this trip, but the biggest force for these Cardinals, but his brother Alex Rotman is another big player and key player for them. Then we have Wagner, who's hitting 268 and adding three kills per set. And then Kevin Lamp, he's doing an incredible job adding 1.8 kills per set, hitting 265. All right, let's look at the season stat comparison. Stanford 7-1. That lone loss came last week against CSUN. Hawaii checking in at 8 and 1. You see the numbers, Hawaii, with a slight advantage in the kills. Look at the hitting percentages, both very good. Hawaii's is unbelievable at 401. Block edge a bit to Stanford. Digs a push. Serving, though, that may be the difference here tonight, Hawaii, with more aces and less service errors. And now, how about for the Rainbow Warriors? Well, Spiro Taka, so you can see there, 3.96 kills per set, and that lofty hitting percentage at 384 for an outside hitter and Alaka Itat who continues to really provide that offensive option on the opposite hitting 414 for the season and Jeremy Voss always his hitting percentage is what's most impressive 577 for the senior middle blocker all right guys there's no question this will be the toughest competition Hawaii's played up until this point of the season I think we all agree on that what does Hawaii need to do to come away with a win, Ryan? Well, this is going to be an interesting test for Hawaii. I mean, when you look at it, this is a team that has tinkled with the, uh, tinkered with this lineup overall over the last few weeks. And so really solidifying this starting lineup and how they're able to produce together, I think is going to be important. It's going to be important, I think, for them to be in system and be able to run their middles, to get into a fluid offense, 
and, and be able to be effective from the service line. This is a Hawaii team that is traditionally known for what it can bring from behind the service line, and they want to minimize those errors because we saw what happened in the past when Hawaii is having a bad service night. James? Yeah, and I think the biggest key for Hawaii is going to be being in system, like you said, Ryan. The Cardinals have a very big team. They're going to put up a very good block, and if it gets a little too predictable or only setting our outside, it's going to be pretty hard for Hawaii to come up with the win. And again, for the Cardinals, I think with Will Rotman being out, it does change what everyone expected about the night. But again, they are a big veteran team. All right, it's an old MPSF matchup. It's Hawaii and Stanford. Should be a good one here. From Simplify Arena, Stan Sheriff Center, when we come back, the anthem, Hawaii Ponoi, and the opening serve with Kana and Chris calling the action. Taco Bell is so good and so cheap. No, right? I wonder why. What if they know we're broke? What if they're trying to be the good guys? Ah. Thanks, Taco Bell! Dodgers, Lakers, the World Surf League, the University of Hawaii, and the very best in high school sports and local programs. The Spectrum Networks in Hawaii. We've got you covered. I got me a paradise. It's your paradise, too. Go from Mauka to Makai in style. In a Honda Accord, the perfect island ride. Eye-catching, comfortable, loaded with tech, and ready for your next holo holo across town. Get the fun started now in a new Accord for just $2.49 a month, or any new Accord with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry said you. There's nothing I love more than being a farmer. Every day, I get to care for my sheep and feel connected to the land. Believe it or not, I think it makes me better at my other job managing Bank of Hawaii's branches in Hilo. Because like farming, banking is all about caring for the needs of customers and businesses in our local community so they can grow and reach their fullest potential. I'm Steven Sylvester, and I'm proud to work for a company that gave a farmer like me the chance to make a difference in my community. Hey, how's it going? You got Lanai with Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by the University of Hawaii Maui College. And look who we got in the kitchen next week. Chef Jonathan Pashan, what will you be making, Chef? Today I'll be making my mom's favorite pork adobo. It's a dish that she's very, very known for. Uh -huh. And then also our new restaurant, Polina, we're featuring my new venison with a papaya mustard sauce. Oh, this sounds like a good one. You might want to check it out. Check your local listings for times. It's Cooking Hawaiian Style. Spectrum Sports. Aloha and happy Chinese New Year. Welcome to another exciting evening of Warrior Ball 24. Volleyball fans, please remain standing for the singing and playing of the national anthem and Hawaii Ponoi. Fans, please remove your hats and veterans are encouraged to render a hand salute. One, two, one, two. Singing and playing this evening is a local musician who is one half of the music group Heart and Soul. And by day, I hear is a favorite music teacher at Kaimuki Christian School. Please welcome back to the Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center, Micah Ganeron. <laughs> Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Boots, broad stripes, and bright stars. Oh, 
Enjoy that, the National Anthem, Hawaii Ponui on the ukulele. Big matchup here in Manoa starting tonight again on Friday. Hawaii and Stanford, both top five programs, both with only one loss. Hawaii checking in at eight and one, while the Cardinal counter with a seven and one mark. Time now to meet the starting lineups. Aloha ahi ahi. Good evening, everyone. The Rainbow Hana welcomes you to Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii in majestic Manoa for tonight's NCAA men's volleyball match featuring MPSF member, the fifth ranked Stafford Cardinal. And representing the Big West Conference, your third ranked Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Introducing the Stafford Cardinals starting lineup at Libero 6'6", six, six, senior from Hermosa Beach, California, number six, Luke Turner. And outside hitter, 6'8", sophomore from Berkeley, California, number seven, Teo Snowy. And middle blocker, 6'7", senior, from San Clemente, California, number nine, Ethan Hill. And outside hitter, 6'6", graduate student, from Lake Bluff, Illinois, number 10, Kevin Lamb. And center, 6'6", graduate student, from Austin, Texas, floor captain, number 12, Nathan Litsky. And opposite 6'6", six, six, sophomore, from San Jose, California, number 14, Moses Wagner. And that middle blocker, 6'8", graduate student, from La Jolla, California, number 16, Nathaniel Gates. The volunteer assistant is Matt Houlihan. Assistant coaches, Taylor Hammond and Spencer Wickens. Head coach for the Cardinal, John Costi. Wherever I go, and 
now meet and greet the starting lineup for your Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And outside hitter, 6'3", senior from San Diego, California, number one, Chaz Gale. At Libero, 5'7", Jr. from Waialai, Oahu, number five, Eleu Toy! <laughs> and middle blocker, 6'9", sophomore from Indianapolis, Indiana, number eight, Kurt Neusterer! <laughs> At setter, 6'8", freshman from Manhattan Beach, California, number 13, Trent Rosenthal. <laughs> At opposite, 6'9", senior from Kailua, Oahu, number 14, Alakai And middle blocker, 6'7", senior, from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, number 21, Guilherme Voss. <laughs> and that outside hitter, 6'4", senior, from Nea Smirny, Greece, floor captain, number 6, Spiros Haka. Assistant coaches Ku Pono Fay and Chad Giesman. Associate coach Milan Zarkovich. Head coach for your Rainbow Warriors, Charlie Wade. It's a quick turnaround for the third-ranked Rainbow Warrior Volleyball team, completing a two-match series sweep over Division II Tusculum just two days ago. While a short respite for most of the Bows, senior swingers Chaz Galloway and Spiros Hakas returned to the lineup rested and ready, having sat out last weekend. Tonight, the competition stiffens as the fifth-ranked Stanford Cardinal come to Manoa for a pair of non-conference matches against the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. And with that, we welcome you into Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. Kanoa Leahy sitting next to Chris McLaughlin. C-Mac, take us through the Kaiser Permanente. Keys to the match. Well, for Stanford, it's neck man up. Best passer and best outside hitter, Will Rotman. Two-time All-American is out with injuries. Who's going to step up in those big shoes? And for Hawaii, back to the future. After a two-match rest, Warriors will return Hawkins and Galloway to the original lineup and possibly their future lineup as well. That's why it's called Back to the Future. I got you. Top five matchup. Hawaii coming in, ranked third in the latest ABCA poll. Stanford falling one spot from four to five after suffering its first loss of the season. A uh, home loss uh, against Big West member CSUN. But Stanford has played only nationally ranked opponents here to this point en route to a seven and one start this season. Hawaii, this will be their fourth match against a nationally ranked opponent. And the first set goes to Moses Wagner and a good up there by Spittles Hawkins. And then Chaz Galloway sends it out on his first swing. Coming off of the two match break he did suit up, as did Spiros Hawkins, but they did not see action due to load management. Hawaiian Financial FCU starting lineup scrolling at the bottom of your screen. A big absence on the side of the Cardinal as they are missing their top hitter, really one of the most prolific hitters in the country. Will Rotman did not make the trip due to a lower leg injury, we are told. Outside set, a little tight to the net, and trying to push it off the block was Kevin Lamp. But there was no touch, it goes out, and Hawaii gets on the board. And I know I'm watching these two teams warm up tonight. They were on fire, the bouncing balls. Very, very aggressive, very energetic. I really look forward to 
an incredible match tonight. Teams three and teams five in the country. Here is Chaz Galloway, the senior from San Diego. And the middle set goes to Ethan Hill. Hill, 6'7", redshirt senior from San Clemente, California. Been dealing with a bit of an ankle issue, but he's hitting 431 on the year, and he has had some good performances over recent seasons against this Hawaii team. He has had a lot of success against Hawaii, and I know Charlie Wade is probably designing special things to make sure that uh, G. Voss blocks him once in a while. Here's Nathan Litsky, the setter, talented setter at that. Perfect pass by Eleu Choi, but the libero on the other side, Luke Turner, able to pick up the boss swing. So Tred Rosenthal goes back row to Galloway. It's dug up back over the net. Outside, here's Hawkins. Lay the smack down. Oh, man, the free ball play runs to a T to perfection. First pass by Eleu Choi, and then Tred Rosenthal puts up, and Money sets to the outside. You saw Hill jump with Voss, thinking that the ball was going to be going to Voss. Instead, Hawk is left with a one-on-one -on -one situation on the outside. So it is Guilherme Voss to serve. Been putting a little more pepper on some of his serves recently. That time went back to the jump floater. There's a dig along the back line by Galloway. We're going to have a net violation uh, against the Rainbow Warriors. Yes. Spiros Hawkins took a little tumble across the way. I think he, he's one of, he slipped or fell down as he landed. Yeah, there he came well under the net. Looks to be okay, thankfully. That's always a little dicey yeah. when you see players at the net and all of those feet potentially getting tangled up with each other. Taking a spill, but it is three serving to Stanford. And a good pass by Chaz Galloway. Here's Hawkins up the ladder. Down the shoot it goes. Once again, Hawk is showing he's got that wide fan. He can hit down the line and he can hit sharp cross court. A block quite never knowing where he's gonna go. Hawkins has a little bit of that look, doesn't he? He does. He, he is so fired up. He's so competitive. Here's Trevor Rosenthal on the jump serve for Hawaii. And the behind the head middle set to Ethan Hill. We told you about Nathan Litsky. He's the 6'6 senior setter in his fifth year with the program. He leads the team in assists, aces, and digs coming into this match as you take a look. Uh, 18th year head coach John Costi, good buddy of yours, C Mac. Yeah, John, I go way back, that's for sure. Backside, here's Hawkins, a solo block against him, and he's able to gobble it up. It was Teo Snooey who tried to provide the resistance to no avail. You know, we saw that pre previous play where uh, Litsky set Hill behind his head. They kind of know where each other's going because you know what? They've been playing together for five <laughs> years. There's nine guys on the Stanford team. They're going to be graduating this year. That's a heavy experience, high experience class. Oh boy, that was some hard cheddar there from Nathaniel Gates. It went off of the upper body of Hawkins and back over. Stanford still with it outside. It's Snooey chased down by Rosenthal. So Choi sets up Alakai Todd in his roof. Alakai Todd as piping hot as anybody on the Hawaii side. But that time the Cardinal were able to shut the door. Nathaniel Gates jumping up next to Snooey. They knew exactly where this set was going to go. So two blocks up there, four hands across. Nowhere to go for Alakai except maybe over. Talked about the veteranship of this Stanford squad. Even without Will Rotman, as that served by the sophomore Moses Wagner goes out, even without Will Rotman, you still have five senior starters in this lineup for the Cardinal. Yeah, it's, it's just heavy, heavy on the experience. And John Costi's mentioned this earlier this week that this by far the strongest asset of this team. Charlie Wade in his 15th season. So a couple of coaches that have been at it for a while. Charlie Wade, six most wins among active coaches, while John Costi ranks eighth among active coaches. Yeah. And that one is pumped through that Hawaii block. Nathaniel Gates getting a good crack at it. Also a fifth-year senior at 6'8 out of La Jolla, California. It was all, PM, uh, all MPSF honorable mention last year. Stanford's bringing some heat from the service line. Backside, here's Todd. Two blockers waiting for him. They were able to slow it down. Chased down on the second touch there by Litsky. And then hit into the twine by Moses Wagner. So Hawaii gets the point. And we are just going back and forth 
here in this first frame. Well, this is class. This is a classic matchup match for both sides, the toughest matchup of the year. And you can tell both teams have prepared for this kind of intensity. Get comfortable. Yeah. Now, this could take a while, the way things are starting off. I don't think we're done pretty quick. <laughs> we're going to push from here. I'll fall to respect to them. Tonight, it could be a long one. And that's a service ace by Alakai Todd. How about the job this guy has been doing, the 6'9 senior out of Punahou, who has waited in the wings and now finally a regular starter at the opposite position. All he's doing is averaging 4.3 kills per set. That's tops on the team and hitting 414 over the last five matches. Just amazing. Kudos to him for hanging in there all these years and just being patient. That was his 13th service ace of the season. And meanwhile, Wagner going out again and already a couple of hitting errors for Moses Wagner to go along with a service error earlier in this set. Three straight points here for the Rainbow Warriors. Wagner averaging three kills per set, hitting 268. Well, he is 0 for on his first three tries, as that is a forced overpass by Todd. Rosenthal going back row to Hawkins, and it blocked and roofed. And Nathaniel Gates in the thick of things again. I, thought, I actually thought that was a pretty good set selection that time by Rosenthal. Getting, uh, getting the back row set to uh, Hawkes just to make the, the offense more diverse and keep that Stanford block on us, but they sure weren't fooled that time. 31 blocks for Gates coming in, already been on a couple. Swiped that first touch off of the Voss swing. Hawaii claiming that the return was outside the antenna, but we play on. Galloway couldn't get it down, and then over on two goes Litsky. The veteran savvy. Marcus was appealing to Charlie Wade to say, hey, challenge that thing up. That thing passed over outside the antenna. Charlie says, no, we're gonna, we're gonna hold off the challenges right now. Eight serving eight. Two hand pass there by Hawkins. Rosenthal goes D set to Todd. And he demolishes it. Wow, what a swing that was. He went cross court the first time. I think the block is thinking he's gonna go cross court all the time, but not to be. He goes and just rips that line. So Hawaii jumps in front again. Nine serving eight here. Set number one. Here comes Galloway. Pass a little off the mark, but the behind the head set again. That time Hill was blocked, but it's Litsky calling his own number and taking a crack at it. Oh, this is a savvy, smart volleyball, high <laughs> volleyball IQ play by Litsky. Nice dig by. Uh, uh, Turner to keep that ball rally alive, but the way Litsky finished it was just genius. And Nathan Litsky out of Boston, Texas, it was the off the block national setter of the week. He was given that honor on January 15th, same week he was also named the MPSF Defensive Player of the Week. We mentioned leading the team in digs. He's just an all-around player, and a little more pressure on him to be balanced and to be a little bit sharper in terms of the distribution with Will Rotman not here for Stanford. Absolutely. And that's going to be an ace for the Cardinals from the service line. They average 1.7 aces per set here of this season. Hawaii actually leading the NCAA in service aces per set at 2.8 but it's Stanford that gets that one. And they take the lead. Pass by Choi, a bullseye outside Hawkes. Down the line and wide, no touch up front. And so Stanford up two. Couple of hitting errors for Spiros Hawkes. I like that tempo to the outside. Rosetta really trying to give Hawkins a chance to hit line or cross court and give him a split block. And that's going to be another ace, Slitsky. The team leader in that category gets his second on this service run. And Charlie Wade forced a signal, a timeout. Cardinal coming in primed, even shorthanded, leading by three. 
The University of Hawaii Sports on Spectrum Sports, sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. There's nothing I love more than being a farmer. Every day I get to care for my sheep and feel connected to the land. Believe it or not, I think it makes me better at my other job, managing Bank of Hawaii's branches in Hilo. Because like farming, banking is all about caring for the needs of customers and businesses in our local community so they can grow and reach their fullest potential. I'm Steven Sylvester, and I'm proud to work for a company that gave a farmer like me the chance to make a difference in my community. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got you. <laughs> Double up on delicious. Order one of your favorite items from the bundle menu and get the second for only a dollar. Watch your favorite games anytime, anywhere on OC16.tv. Go to the homepage to find the channel you want under the Now Playing section. Log in with your Spectrum username and password and let the games begin. Thursday, it's a full court sprint to the finish. Four teams looking to survive and advance. It's the semifinals of the Heidi and Cook Girls Basketball State Championships, only on OC16, exclusively on Spectrum. Welcome back. Don't miss a second of the action. Watch Spectrum Sports on the go. The Spectrum News app has the local sports you love and the news and weather that matter most to you. Download today on the App Store or Google Play. Well, Stanford on a four-point run here, and they've done it via a couple of aces by Nathan Litsky. And Stanford, they are not holding back from the service line here. It seems like every single server back there has been able to bring some heavy heat. Pass that time by Galloway. D set to Todd, hits it long. That was a heck of a set put up there by Tred Rosenthal. But Todd, the avoidant swing, and that's now five in a row here for the Cardinal. We thought it would be the Hawaii serving chase show, but instead, Stanford's putting up some pretty good speed on their serves as well. Moving it around nicely. Crowd trying to urge the home team on. But what your way out of system here. Bump said it's going to be Takas against three blockers. And leave it to him to better the ball and get Hawaii the much needed point to apply the tourniquet there to that Stanford run. Hawaii hitting 0 0 0 on the night. Keone Fim now in and back to serve. Coming off of a career high 14 kill performance against Tusculum, hits 722. And the team leader in aces, but he serves it into the net. And it feels like Hawaii in need of getting adjusted here. We mentioned Stanford, every one of their opponents this season has been a nationally ranked opponent. Hawaii has gone outside of the national rankings uh, with the exception of three matches. They started off obviously with a pair at home against Loyola Chicago and also played Ball State in Muncie, Indiana. But uh, you almost get the sense Stanford a little bit more used to the tempo at this point as that one is blasted long by Kevin Lamb. And I totally agree with you, Kanoa. Um, I think that it's gonna take Hawaii a little bit of time to adjust. Also remember they got two new starters back in the lineup. So there's again some rust to knock off. Well, what a flat line in it here offensively in this first frame compared to a 200 hitting percentage for the Cardinals. Who's in fall to serve. And that's set a little off time. Diving saved by Choi. Scramble play. Choi gets it over. And we play on. Wagner through the block, popped up in the air by Rosenthal. High set, it's Todd off the high fingertips. And Stanford will play it back. Middle set, it's Hill. And he gets the wrist away kill. So tricky with it. The arm swing of Ethan Hill, and he has three early kills. And Stanford gets to 15 first in set one. Taco Bell is so good and so cheap. No, right? I wonder why. What if? They know we're broke. What if they're trying to be the good guys? Ah. Thanks, Taco Bell! From Maka to Makai Make Honda, your perfect island ride. When you're cruising in a sporty Civic or an adventurous HRV, roll down the windows, crank up the music, and let the Manava Mike cut you roll. 
Honda is the most awarded brand in car and driver's 10 best history. Get into a Civic now and get the Paina started for just $249 a month or any Civic with low 2.9% APR. See you, Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry said. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Ikene? Monikin? Hi, Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait. How do you spell it? Anything. The green one? Ah. Hakanen? Yes. When you work at Taco Bell, your days are flexible. Catch a break in the morning and still have time to cram for exams. Then learn on the job at Taco Bell too. Apply at tacobellhawaii.com slash careers. Welcome back. Let's check out tonight's Hyundai head-to-head -head stat line. We're looking at the team hitting percentages here in this first frame. Stanford at 222 Hawaii right now at triple zero. In fact, uh, at this stage, 15-11, Cardinal in front in set one. They are out hitting, out acing, and out blocking Hawaii. And both teams usually, uh, they're used to hitting well over 300. And the serve out of the timeout by Hill goes into the net. So Spiros Hakas, who has four kills already, leading all hitters at 333, retreats back to serve. Two aces from cracking into the top 10 on the career aces list at UH. That was a lightning bolt. Gets credit for the kill, but you know what? I like the server getting credit for that one. That's like, like serving up an ace right there. Credit to both players. Spittle's just ripping that one. Kurt Neuster hitting 441 on the year. What a night he had on Sunday from the service line. As that one tickled the tape. Middle set and Neusterer couldn't quite keep that one on the Stanford side as Nathaniel Gates is able to plug it through. Mr. Had, the, had his hands in the right location, just didn't press over. Otherwise, you would have got a block solo. Here's Theron Briette, a 6'3 sophomore from San Jose in his second year with Stanford. That's a good serve. Layout pass by Hawkins. High ball set. Galloway going up the elevator shaft. It'll be played back, though. Litsky will get a swing, and he's going to get a kill. Well, that was a switch up as Luke Turner, the 6'6 libero, mind you, and fellow senior was able to put up a little nectar for his setter, Nathan Litsky. That is a really, really good set by Turner. And Litsky, as you can tell, knows how to hit the ball. Remember, he's 66. He's 6'6, so he's done a little hitting his life. It's not been just a setting life for him. When he was a junior, he hit through a lot of balls, trust me. 17 serving 13. Rosenthal backsides it to Todd. And he's able to split the uprights. And Hawaii gets the point. Alakai Todd now with his second kill. My Kai Alakai indeed. And now, interesting serving sub here for Hawaii. Kevin Calling coming into the match. The 6-7 grad transfer from Lewis. Got some good playing time against Tusculum this past week. That's a good serve. Great pass, however, by Snowy, who gets the set on the outside. Popped up in the air by Hawkes. Rosenthal to Galloway. was a little too quick, but Galloway still made it work with the left hand. How about the left hand challenge? The Hard push by Galloway. Wow. That was not where Trent Rosenthal meant to set the ball. I'll tell you that. He meant to keep it off the net a little. Instead, it was right on the net. Tough play. Galloway made it. That's a heck of a play. He had the left hand. Litsky had two hands on it. And Galloway still won that joust. Back row set. That was clobbered. Kevin Lamp. Look out. Lights out for the lamp. <laughs> This is a great set by Metzke, too. He took the middle block of the Chief Ross up. Therefore, that left 
Rapp with an open net. Another fifth-year senior, 6'6", from Lake Bluff, Illinois, NPSF second teamer a season ago. Here's Galloway, rising high, but missed wide, tried to take line there. And Hawaii just a little off in the calibration here in this opening frame. There's some of the rust, I think, you know, not having played last weekend at all. Well, that is the age-old debate, right? Rust versus rest. Yes, good point. Good point. Backside, here's Todd. Big swing, and he tools the block. And he gets kill number three. So Hawaii fighting here, but it's an uphill climb at this latter stage of set one. Todd will retreat back to serve. As the lone service ace for Hawaii in this first set. Set. That's Wagner, and he pops it off the hands. Moses Wagner played just five matches a year ago due to injury. But obviously with some of the players who have been in and out of the rotation for Stanford because of injuries this year, uh, he has gotten his number called, and the sophomore able to come through. And on his fourth swing of the night, he finally got his first kill. Ryan Duras, 6'3". Sophomore from Gilroy, California with the serve. Stanford up four. Middle set, Voss. That's going to be popped up in the air by Duras. And a good reaction there by Rosenthal to keep it alive for Hawaii. Galloway gets slowed down by the block. Outside, and that one is hit home. Kevin Lamp again. Largest lead of this first frame for Stanford. Hawaii going to call a timeout. The Cardinal not playing around here in this first match with the Rainbow Warriors. There's nothing I love more than being a farmer. Every day I get to care for my sheep and feel connected to the land. Believe it or not, I think it makes me better at my other job, managing Bank of Hawaii's branches in Hilo. Because like farming, banking is all about caring for the needs of customers and businesses in our local community so they can grow and reach their fullest potential. I'm Steven Sylvester and I'm proud to work for a company that gave a farmer like me the chance to make a difference in my community. From Maka to Makai Make Honda, your perfect island ride. When you're cruising in a sporty Civic or an adventurous HRV, roll down the windows, crank up the music, and let the Manava Mic cut you roll. Honda is the most awarded brand in car and driver's 10 best history. Get into a Civic now and get the Paina started for just $249 a month or any Civic with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry said. Oh, just call Steve's. You've seen our trucks everywhere and there's a reason why. Steve's Plumbing and AC is always on, offering same day service from the island's most trusted team. Your Honda can expect a plumber that's clean, prompt, and always with aloha. This month, get clogged toilets or slow drains flowing with Steve's Drain Clearing for only $89. Get the yuck unstuck. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. Welcome back. Let's go inside the numbers presented by Long's Drugs. The number is 569. That was Hawaii's hitting percentage in two matches versus Tusculum. Raised their average 30 points for the season from 371 to 401. But they are up against a different kind of opponent here this evening. Hawaii hitting 125 here in this first frame. Stanford yet to lose an opening set this season, and they are in prime position at the moment. Out of the timeout, up a handful. D said it's Todd. That was a broad jump. I like how Todd is just playing some great volleyball now. So I'm happy to see him playing this kind of volleyball and getting a starting nod, securing that opposite spot for now. Uh, I think he's going to be there for a long while. He hit 462 last week against Tusculum. And he's hitting for big numbers every night, no matter who it is across the net. 17 serving 21. Hawaii has to make a move if they want to get back into this first frame. But that back row set has just been a nightmare. Teo Snowy that time unloading. Stanford looks awfully good, C-Mac. They really do. They've got a, their offense is well oiled right now. They get a lot of one-on-one -on -one situations for their attackers. 
playing some decent defense. Serving some bombs as well. One hand set rolls and falls. You know, I've been impressed with that lady with Troy all night long. He's passed the ball really well. That one, maybe a little too tight that time, but overall, Elay has been doing, doing some, some terrific passing. But the one handed back set, what's up for that? Also making sure he got it in, and then it's Hill choosing violence. Well, he's got some great range, doesn't he? He's got that away wrist away shot, and he's got that little cutback as well. Went to Stanford via UCLA. Interesting course there. Redshirted in 2020 as a member of the Bruins roster. 23 serving 18. And the service error fourth of this first set for Stanford gives Hawaii at the point, but uh, not a lot of room for error here moving forward in this first frame for the Rainbow Warriors. I give a lot of credit to the card right now. They're, they're playing some good volleyball. Why well, still looking just a little bit out of sorts. Cardinal now up to 407 in the hitting percentage department. Outside, Snowy. with his hands there to push the ball back into the court. And maybe a little hang time here, huh? And so Hawaii gets to 20. They're within three, and that prompts John Costi to signal for a timeout. And Costi still has another one if Hawaii manages to keep up this rally. Costi can call another one to slow down this run. So breaking the action, let's check in with Ryan Kalei Suji. What's up, Ryan? Hey, thanks, Kono. We're here on the Stanford sideline. Uh, prior to, of course, this last time out, a lot of exuberant players here, a lot of motivation. They're very happy about the way they're playing, especially the way that they're able to run this offense and run the middle. Coming in to this matchup, one of the things that Coach Costi wanted to see was a matchup between Hill and Boss. Right now, Hill right now with uh, four kills. The middle's really hurting Hawaii. Hawaii's playing middle blockers of Nooser and Boss still trying to guess this Cardinal offense and get things figured out. Right now, Stanford exploiting that, running the middle, selling their middle uh, blockers and their setter to continue running it until Hawaii has a solution. Back over to you guys. Hey, thanks a lot, Ryan. Uh, what would be your theory as to why Stanford, this isn't the first time that the middles have put up uh, pretty good numbers against Hawaii, particularly Ethan Hill. Uh, what would be your theory as to why they're so effective? Well, I, th I think that uh, one of the things they're doing is they're mixing up a middle attack with a back row attack. Both of them are quick, quick hitting attacks, and, and Hawaii's either going to commit on the middle on the first attack, or they're going to wait and try to block the back row attack. In either case, they've kind of been guessing wrong a little bit, Kano, and I think that, that um, we've got to figure out a way to, I think the most important thing is that for Stanford to pass the ball off the net more so they cannot run that quick attack. The Stanford right now is passing the ball pretty darn well. Fred Rosenthal getting ready to send it across. That's a good pass right there. Middle set Hill. Rosenthal popped it up, but only for a moment. And right on cue. Ethan Hill gets his fifth kill, error free. He's hitting 714, and he is proving to be a thorn in Hawaii's side here early on as Adam Chang enters the match. Back to serve on Aloha Ball for set one. Another fifth year player. He's a vet, he's been here, done that before. Loops it over, pass by Galloway on the money. Quick middle set, it's Neusterer, rattles around. The set gets up there by Litsky, but he joust above the tape. And Spiros Hakkas wins the battle. But even in that exchange, you see the deafness of Litsky just to be able to get a set in the vicinity to at least give his hitter a chance. Exactly. Four hands across was a little bit too much there for Snowy. So 21 serving 24, it remains a little ball in the first. Hakas took a little something off that time. Backside, that's Moses Wagner, and he finishes the deal. Stanford for the ninth time in as many opportunities this season takes set one, 25-21.
And the Rainbow Warriors will be playing from behind against the fifth ranked team in the land. Why is Kahlo at the heart of American Savings Bank? Because we believe in strong roots. At ASB, we're committed to investing in Hawaii, our home. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. Technology at 15 Craigside makes life easier, safer, and keeps us connected. How are you guys doing this morning? Internet speed in this building is able to handle the downloads and capacity requirements of my office. The technical support that's provided by the IT department is wonderful. They're available to all residents for any troubleshooting needs and one-on-one -on -one training. Voice technology allows us to ask about 15 Craigside's community events, dining, and activities. There's always something fun to do. Let's keep our money in our community, not on the continent, so more families can continue to call Hawaii home. Use any ASB Visa debit card at participating businesses and save. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. You're watching Spectrum Sports. Different industries need different advertising. Spectrum Reach knows the difference. Data and insights that find your customers. Targeting capabilities across every screen. Whoa. Creative that resonates and cuts through the clutter. Measurable results that grow your business. Reach the right customers wherever they are, on every screen, for any industry. One advertising partner and done. Spectrum Reach. The booms of illegal fireworks continue to ring out in neighborhoods across the islands. While some may think of it as harmless fun, even tradition, these fireworks have led to serious injury, even death. Last year, an illegal fireworks task force was formed to crack down on the problem. But after a new year that saw thousands of illegal fireworks light up the sky, is the task force doing enough? Join us Thursday, February 8th at 7.30 p.m. on Insights on PBS Hawaii. Thursday, Hawaii faces a formidable conference opponent in the Tritons of UC San Diego. Rainbow Warrior Basketball, only on Spectrum Sports. Welcome back. Time now for the Hawaii Honda Dealers Highlight Reel, and we'll get things rolling with Ethan Hill, who again has given Hawaii some issues in past iterations of this matchup, but he came up large in that first frame. Five kills, no errors, hit a fat 714, and a lot of the credit, of course, goes to his setter, Nathan Liskey, for finding him. Nathan Liskey, he's becoming more offensive tonight than I've seen, seen him before. It's keeping Hawaii's defense honest he's got 13 assists he normally gets like 11. yeah he also has three kills on three swings to go along with a couple of aces an impressive showing in that first frame for stanford they've yet to drop a first set this season but coming off of a match where they played without the services of their top hitter will rotman against csun a big west conference opponent and they were able to take the first frame in that match, ended up losing in four. Uh, but we were talking in that first set, just appeared like Hawaii needed to make an adjustment or get used to uh, the ramping up of the speed and certainly some of the power that Stanford brings in a matchup like this. Exactly, and, Charlie, and Charlie's not gonna change the lineup at all. He's gonna stay with that first set lineup, hoping that uh, these guys get a little more competitive, a little more angry, a little more steady in their output, and we'll see if they can hang with the stand, this very good Stafford team in the second set. Yeah, Hakas and Alakai Todd each with four kills. Rough first set for Chaz Galloway offensively, one kill on seven swings, hit negatives. Kevin Lamp with the serve. Let's slow down a little bit by the tape. And here's Todd, what an up there by Lamp against the Cardinals, so that negates what was an incredible dig by Lamp because that was just hammered by Alakai Top. Yeah, a little net violation there, I think, that was by Mateo Snilly. So Todd gets the kill. He now has five to lead Hawaii. One serving zero with Rosenthal. Outside, that's Snowy. It'll be played back. Here's Todd. How about the angle? And he got the touch. 
Oh, I thought he's showing that he can hit cross court. He's not just a line guy, he can go cross court as well as anyone. He's having quite the night so far. Fifth kill. And or sixth kill. And we're hitting 444 now. Already up two. Backside, here's Wagner. Saved there off the block there by Hawkins. We got another joust up there, and this time Wagner wins the battle. Joust is Wagner out of Bellarmine College Prep, where he was teammates with Theron Briette, his current Cardinal teammate. He was an ABCA first team prep All American in 2022. Bobo Mag, Fab 50. One serving two, it's Gates sending it over. Here's Foss in the middle. The short arm, but extremely forceful swing of G. Voss on that occasion. And Stanford knew it was going there. They had two blockers up on Voss that time. Voss hitting 577 for the year. seen that coming. It has just been a hitting drill for Kevin Lamp on the Bic. Absolutely. And then back row quick. So well. Unless G Boss is going to go up there with the middle, which leaves a wide open net for Lamp. It doesn't get much better than that as far as a center to a hitter goes. Here, by the way, here's an open net for you. Have fun. That pass set to Todd. Nifty there by the freshman center. There was a little, there was a nice little line set. They were taking his cross court. He just goes right down the line. Very nifty shot and a great set from Trent Rosenthal. Well, he puts up some sets on occasion. You have to pinch yourself just to remember he's 17 years of age. Another set to Hill. Lock slowed it down. Hawaii in transition. Here's Galloway blocked. A cover there by Rosenthal. So Hawkins the bump set. Galloway again blocked. Rosenthal again the cover. Hawkins again to Chaz. That time blasted it through and gets the pull. Well, if you don't get it the first time, try the second. If you don't try to catch it the second, try the third. Chaz took three smart shots of hitting high hands. He knew the block was well formed. He had to go for the high hands and just pound away and Third time was the lucky charm. They just stayed with it, and finally it paid off for Galloway for his second kill. Five serving two here in the second. Voss ramping it up. Outside, that's Snowy, and it just levitated above the tape long enough for Snowy to go quick jump back up there and put it down. Smart play by Snowy that time to tap it back down. He knew the block wouldn't be ready for it. He thought he might have he might be passing it up or something, but he bypassed the pass and decided to just put it down. Oh, Hawaii scrambling. And we have a whistle, but I'm not sure what the whistle is regarding. And they're gonna replay. Inadvertent whistle is the ruling. And that actually helps Hawaii a lot because they were caught in no man's land there up against the twine. Yeah, Wayne Lee thought that the ball hit the antenna, so therefore he called the whistle right away, but in fact the ball did not hit the antenna, and Hawaii got lucky. There's the referees tonight. Wayne Lee to R1, Dixon Chun down on the terror flex, and the line judges Randy Rubinall and Hunter Halinia. Rosenthal going backside, here's Alakai. Punched up in the air by Wagner. Good chase down there. Litsky. Wagner two hands it over. Choi with the save. So here we go again. Hakas to Galloway. Gets the touch. And immediately Chaz turns to his fellow senior to give him the nod on the assist. Yeah, that was quite the set from Spiros Hakas. Again, Chaz hitting high hands. He's got three blockers up. He knows there's six hands across, so he just goes. High and over and down. Six serving three. Pass by Turner is a beauty outside. 
Kevin Lamp is dug up, but out of bounds it goes. And Ayu Choi almost more in self-defense that time as the Lamp lit into it. Yes. Okay, more Lamp Met metaphors. But, uh, you know, Lamp Lamp's proven that he can not only hit the back row quick, but he's got that left side attack as well. Oh, Todd, did he get the touch? He wanted the touch. He thinks he got the touch. No touch call. And Hawaii, in unison, march over towards Charlie Wade to implore him to provide a replay challenge. So they're going to check this. It was immediate and emphatic, the reaction by Hawaii as a group to that non-touch call. Here's for, here's for life could be a lot simpler. We could move this game a lot faster if the Stanford player just said, hey, Gil, by the way, fix it. I touched it. And that isn't something that never happens. Uh, you're starting to maybe hear some anecdotes about uh, different areas in the country where players, if they know they touched it and maybe they have a lead, don't want to break up the rhythm too much. It's like, yeah, okay, I touched it. Let's keep playing. Yeah. Uh, and you also hear about a reward system in certain professional leagues around the country. Yes. Uh, where you actually can build uh, these uh, award credits if you uh, are so willing as to admit when you make a touch on, being, on a call. For being best sportsman of the year. Not a bad, bad idea. Let's see if the, the spin changes on the ball at all. There's the swing. Oh, there's a thumb that went back, it looked like, a little bit. Hard to tell the spin on that one. I thought the other replay showed that the, like this one here, I think the spin changes. Oh, that was, that's hard to tell again. Again, we have our Spectrum Sports angles, but Dixon Chun also has the DV Sports static camera angles that he can utilize in the review. And he saw something yeah. uh, that gave him... No, there's the, no uh, arguments from Stafford at all. I, I forget which player raised the hand, and one of the guys said, yeah, I got it. He could have saved us a few minutes us. if he yeah. did that a few moments ago. They have the honor code there, Stafford. Went and applied in volleyball, too. Mm. So Dixon Chun was able to see something conclusive there amid all of that. Hawaii up three. Back row, that was a little mistimed as Snooey got blocked. That quick outside, also a little off the mark. So advantage Hawaii. Here's Akis with the big windup. Good chase down by Wagner. Can Turner get it across? Yes, he can. Tread goes to Todd. Gets it down. Oh, the stand share center, he rips. Step by Turner, pumps it all the way back over. Stafford keeping the rally alive. And how about that set from Rosenthal giving Kai Alakai Todd one on one? Behold my jackrabs 100% all white meat grilled or crispy chicken with lettuce, cheese, and sauces, and a warm tortilla for just three bucks. And they're under 400 calories. So if your goal this year was to save money and eat healthy ish, we got you. The canoe has really grounded me to my culture and to Hawaii. My passion and my love is really about voyaging and wayfinding and, and teaching. And knowing that, that there was a time where none of this was, was in Hawaii. It's now my responsibility, my generation, our kuleana, to, to make sure that it never happens again. Being Hawaii's best bank has been our goal since we were Hawaii's first bank. But being first was just the beginning of a bigger journey and a deeper commitment. One first leading to another is how we set the standard for an industry and help turn trial runs into traditions. Because being first once just makes you the oldest. Doing it every day is what makes you the best. Bank on the best. First Hawaiian bank. It all starts with yes. My double bonus jack combo gives you double the seasoned beef and double the cheese. Let's see that again. Double beef, double cheese, two ads for the price of one. Not bad. Welcome back. We got volleyball here in the arena tonight. Tomorrow night, it's men's basketball. Hawaii and UC San Diego. Our coverage on Spectrum Sports starts at 6.30 p.m. 
Some challenging matchups for the Rainbow Warrior basketball team this week as they host two of the top teams in the Big West in UCSD and UC Davis on Saturday. Well, what, yeah, to an 8-4 lead here in this second frame. That was the largest lead of the second set for Hawaii until that service error there by Chaz. Hawaii's offense considerably improved here, Kano, in the second set. Eight kills, no errors, hitting 667. Well, Hawaii hit 185 in the first frame. Starting to show signs of finding the groove. That back bump set by Turner, a little tight to the net, but it'll be played on the Cardinal side. Quick outside, that one goes to Lamb. And did anyone touch it for Hawaii? They're gonna say no. It just tightrope walked to the top of the tape and fell back on the Cardinal side. So there's gonna be a challenge by John Costi. I think he's gonna challenge it. Yeah, he is. And so he's gonna say that someone on the Hawaii side of the net touched it. So quickly, Dixon Chun back to the review. And the crowd doesn't like the pause in the action. Let's see if we can tell what happened here. It doesn't look like there was a touch, but another angle would probably be better. Let's see if this angle should tell right here. It would be Neusterer, that left arm, if anything. Yeah, I don't think there was a touch there. Now, Charlie Wade was telling us earlier this week that he is looking into getting a better camera system with more pixels per frame. Right there from that angle, looked like it may have caught a piece of Neusterer's left arm. And yeah, I think that's another thing on the to-do list for Charlie Wade yeah, is to exactly. try to get an upgraded DV Sports system. Again, Dixon Chun has the ability to scroll through the DV Sport replay static camera angles as well as these angles that we're showing you from our broadcast. Uh, I don't think there's a touch there. I think the call's gonna stand. Yeah, I think the angle from the other side was the one that was the, the most uh, potentially uh, contradictory, perhaps, to what the call on the floor was. Yeah. I think the call is going to stand. I expect that Dixon Chun will be taking the... Does he have a headset on? I guess he doesn't have a headset on now. So he's done. I think he's gonna, the call's going to stand. That's my guess. Oh, it does. Chris Stradamus over here. <laughs> and so here is... Kurt Neusterer to serve. And how about the run Kurt Neusterer had in that third set against Tusculum on Sunday? It was an 18-point run for Hawaii. He served 17 of those points. Got the crowd rolling. He had six aces for the match, career high. And he was smiling, and it just turned into a party in here. Uh, but this service run a little more short-lived. <laughs> that one has bounced off the terror flex by Moses Wagner. After a slow start, Moses Wagner coming on. Now he's got four kills. Mentioned the injuries for Wagner. He was a guy who was targeted to be the primary opposite, but only five matches due to the injuries last year. So Teo Snui ended up starting all but one match at the opposite position. Hakkas is able to rip it off the block and out, and Hawaii gets the side and the point back. So Stanford certainly more fully formed in terms of what John Costi envisioned from position to position. But again, playing tonight without their top hitter, Will Rotman, who is averaging four kills per set. I'm impressed with how well they're playing without their superstar. Backside is Wagner, not slowed it down. So Rosenthal goes to Voss. something Hawaii did not do in the first set, and that is get touches on the block that allowed the back row to pass up a, a nice play like that and allow them to run, a, run an offense. And I suspect that the difference between these two teams tonight will be how many touches can each block get? Right. That one hit long. Was there a 
a touch. And they're going to say there was a touch. So Teo Snui gets the kill. That's his third of the match. I think, I think Rosenthal, Rosenthal got a piece of that. It's the disadvantage of being 6'9", you know. And, having those, and having those huge hands. Yes. Hard not to get a touch. <laughs> Really, really being precise in his sets now. Giving his, giving his attackers either split blocks or one-on-ones almost every time. So six kills now for Hoppus. He's hitting 400. Into the net on the serve. Two years. Wide with just three, Stanford with four. And that's a service error. You get Stanford five, wide three. That's not a category you want to lead in, by the way, Camilla. <laughs> and so here comes Keone Thim. And you can always hear the energy of the crowd rising whenever he checks in and retreats back to serve. I'd be surprised if we don't see Rui Sakanoko tonight, too, to, especially in the game that maybe they had him in hand a little bit. Put Louie in, there he is, and then put him in and have him drill a 70 mile an hour heater. Meanwhile, it's Snowy, little heat in his own right. Outside, Galloway climbing the ladder. Lay out there by Lamp. Backside, it's Wagner. Hits it long, no touch up front. I want you back up a handful. Oh, Lamp popping this ball up. When he put it up, there was no place for him for the center that time. Litsky to go to the left outside. He had to go behind. A little bit tougher set. A little bit easier for Hawaii to line up their block. Todd with the serve. Straight up there by Lamp. He'll get the high ball set on the outside. Three! The Manoa Roofing Company putting on their hard hats on that one. Hawaii gets the 15 first in set two. They lead by six. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say Pizza Wahat. Bounced from one doctor to the next. Did they even send my lab work? Wait, was I supposed to bring that? Then there's the forms, the bills, the not a bills, the. Press forward and repeat these options. Healthcare can get a whole lot easier when your medical records, care, and coverage are in one place. At Kaiser Permanente, all of us work together for all that is you. Heart pumping, muscles extending. Every body is a miracle. And though we share so much, everybody is unique. What's your passion? Hold on to it. We're here to help. This is me. With a personalized approach to a healthier you. Hawaii Pacific Health. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say Pizza Wahat. Welcome back. First of two matches between Hawaii and Stanford, a top five matchup by virtue of the ABCA poll. Hawaii three, Stanford five, and they'll do it again on Friday in the Hanaho rematch. But so far, we're seeing some high-level volleyball on both sides. Stanford awfully impressive in the first frame, taking it 25-21. But Hawaii has turned the tide here in set two. And a great serve by Alakai Todd and Kurt 
Foster cashes in on the overpass. Once again, Hawaii serving becoming a factor in this particular set. And how about Hawaii's hitting? 647 to Stanford's 167 in this set. Huge difference. 500 points difference. 16 serving nine. Three straight points for Hawaii. And there is Ethan Hill again. He's an enigma for Hawaii, isn't he? Yeah, they cannot solve that riddle. He's, he is so good. That's his sixth kill. In nine tries. He's hitting a mere 667. Not bad. And still no errors. And just has sort of a, a tricky approach in arm swing that makes it a little difficult to read. He can snap it. Here's Todd blasting it off the block and out. Alakai Todd in his bag yet again. He gets to double figure kills. Oh, they're going to call a back row violation, though, on the attack. That would have been his 10th kill. They wave it off. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Huh. So wave off the kill. He still has nine and maybe a little athletic justice, karmically speaking, as the next serve goes out. You notice the three-meter line goes off the court and little dots are going off the court, little dashes. Let's see if we can see if where he puts his right. Oh, yeah, there's his left foot right on the line. Yep, good call. Back row, that one touched over by Snowy. There's Hakka's three blockers up, and he goes with two hands and just gently swipes it off the block. And the Greek flags come out. Meanwhile, John Costa going to signal for another timeout. This is what it looked like from the net cam. One on three. Hakkas wins it. Hawaii by seven. At Kaiser Permanente, our connected team approach allows us to understand the different aspects of your care. The level of communication we have, it's coordinated, multidisciplinary care. It's really the future of medicine. It's not just patient-centered care. It's patient-driven. We're not just treating conditions. Understanding the whole person builds trust and leads to better outcomes. We all work together to care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. When you work at Taco Bell, your days are flexible. Catch a break in the morning and still have time to cram for exam. Then learn on the job at Taco Bell too. Apply at TacoBellHawaii.com slash careers. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say Pizza Wahat. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Hey, can I? Monikin. Hi, Hi, can I please? Me? Wait. How do you spell it? Anything. The green one? Ah. Hakanen? Yes. And welcome back, Alakai Todd. Doing Alakai Todd things again here, despite going up against a much tougher opponent here. In Stanford, he's got nine kills, C-Mac. He's got the point. He's only ace, but he's also served a couple of enforced overpasses that were like aces, but from the attack line, he's you know, he's got five kills, only one error in this set, playing just marvelous volleyball right now. Getting 429 overall for the night. And that three-match road swing to Indiana averaged four kills and get 471, including a career-high 16 kills against Purdue Fort Wayne. Scramble play here for the Cardinal. Moses Wagner two hands it over. Hawaii with the advantage now. Rosenthal sends it out to Hawkes. And he finds the middle of the floor. Spurs Hawkes, I think. He has got the rust kind of knocked off. Don't you think, Kanoa? They have taken <laughs> it to another level here in this second frame. There is no denying that. And Hawkes hitting 462. 
19, serving 11. Hawaii has scored three in a row. Outside, it goes to Lamp. Tried to push it down the line. Missed the floor wide. And what has happened here? Stanford looked virtually unstoppable and sharp in just about every aspect in that first set. But things have changed dramatically here in the second frame. Absolutely. Kevin Lamp could not be stopped in that first set. Now he's hitting 0-77. Galloway sends it out. Fifth service error of the match for Hawaii. And now Nathan Litsky had two aces in that first set. Will retreat back to serve. Out of St. Andrews Episcopal School in Austin, Texas. Volleyball was added as a sport his senior year. And that was thunderous. And kept in play by Rosenthal. Meanwhile, it is Gates who hits it out. Look at this play by Rosenthal. Somehow keeps it alive. Then Gates, a little cross court shot, cross body, misses the court. Very unusual. Gates is usually a pretty good high percentage player. Kevin calling in to serve. It's a beauty. Gets the Cardinal out of system. High ball bump set goes to Wagner. Three blockers up, and he still gets it home. Not all six hands pressing over the net. There was just enough room for the volleyball to fit inside the hands and the net. And here's Alex Rotman coming along. Yeah, Alex Rotman comes in, the younger brother of Will Rotman, who did not make the trip due to injury. And Alex has been in and out of the lineup due to an injury as well. Voss, Sam dumps it home on the overpass. Well, beside from one of the Antsies, Voss. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> What is the tail of two sets, isn't it? I mean, wow. This is quite a departure from what we saw in the first. And Rosenthal forces the overpass, and Todd. Oh, what a play there by the center, Litsky, to keep it alive. And then Voss, did that get above the tape? They're going to say it did. Hawkins with the swing. A thin slice of red cross court and down. That was pretty bizarre. I, I didn't think that Hawaii would be Stafford was going to get the ball over. Yeah, Litsky able to track it down. Yeah. He was able to get it back on the Stanford side, and as long as you do so outside of the antenna, it can continue the play. Well, there's going to be a short sequence that follows that up there, courtesy Nathaniel Gates, who slams it down. Now, once again, when Stanford passes the ball well, they can set the deck, they can set the quick. They're very, very effective. When the ball starts getting further off the net towards the three-meter line, they are less effective. And that's what's happened here in the second set. Chris Kelly in and back to serve. Yet another senior, and he serves up an ace. It goes right through the hands of Elu Choi. Who, by the way, has done a pretty good job of passing really well tonight. A rare error by Eleu. He's got four digs and a couple of assists here in this match, does Eleu. And that one drifts long. That time Eleu got out of the way. And it's a little ball for Hawaii here in the second. <laughs> We got some people in the stands standing up here, C-Mac. I know you love to see that. <laughs> Any way you put the pressure on the other team, that's uh, always good. A lot of others now getting the memo. And it is a service ace by Skittles Hawkins. An exclamation point to close out set two. Hawaii flips.
flips the script after dropping the first 25-21. They take set two by 10. They hit 556 in the second frame. And we are tied at one. Get cozy, folks. We could be here a while. University of Hawaii Sports on Spectrum Sports. Sponsored by your Hawaii Honda dealers. It got me a paradise. It's your paradise, too. There's this beach. It's kind of a secret. I said secret. Perfect getaways call for the perfect island ride. Honda SUVs. Roomy, reliable, rugged. To make getting to your getaway half the fun. Now get into a CRV for just $2.99 a month. Or any CRV with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry sent you. You're watching Spectrum Sports. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got oh. you. I got you. Double up on delicious. Order one of your favorite items from the bundle menu and get the second for only a dollar. My name is Don Mizurashi. I'm the Assistant Manager of Human Resources here at Olelo Community Media. Simplicity HR by Altris has made my life so much easier. We have this whole team dedicated to timesheets, to running our payroll, and it makes it a lot easier because you're not talking to the mainland. You're talking to somebody here locally that understands the culture of your business, and they're so helpful. They're always willing to go above and beyond. They're the best. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-867-0280. Friday, after a wild tournament, it all comes down to this. Who will be the last two standing? It's the Heidi and Cook Girls Basketball State Championships, only on OC16, exclusively on Spectrum. Back inside Simplify Arena, Stan Sheriff Center, where it is intermission. Number three, Hawaii. Number five, Stanford. Not enough at a set apiece. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights. First off, we start off with the Rainbow Warriors. Spiros Hawkins, who is tied for the team lead in kills through the first two sets. He's got nine kills, hitting an even 500 from his outside position. And you know, Spiros Hawkins really with the energy tonight. You can see him there with a lot of emotion and at times really just trying to help get this team back together with just his fiery play and also his dynamic attacking. Scott, James, Ryan, two completely different sets in that first set, Hawaii. Really had a hard time defensively trying to figure things out, but they obviously adjusted in the second set. What do you think was the biggest takeaway you got from set one to set two? Well, I think Hawaii served a lot better in set number two. They applied a lot more pressure, which made the Stanford offense a little bit more predictable. In that first set, Stanford was passing perfectly, able to run the middle, run the bigs, run the system. That was part of the Stanford game plan was to be able to stay in system and keep Hawaii guessing, and that's what they did in the first set. But Hawaii serving really turned it out, I think, in set Hawaii's number two. hitters are also playing a lot more efficiently. We're seeing them not miss so much. There was a couple of errors down that line from Chaz Galloway and Spiros Hakas. They're playing a lot more clean. They're finding the deep cross court, and they're doing a much more incredible job of just kind of switching it up and playing it more safe at times, putting it over and tooling block. Ethan Hill, we're talking about the middle attack and the big Ethan Hill with six kills. Most of those though, coming in that opening frame. And this was a matchup that Coach Costley wanted to see. He believed that Hill has really become one of the dynamic middles and he think he thought that he would have his way against Hawaii's middle blockers. And we're seeing it tonight. He's hitting an array of shots and keeping Hawaii's middle blockers off guard. He's doing such an incredible job of not only putting the ball away when he's getting set, but he's also pulling Hawaii's middles on one-on-one commits and allowing Stanford to run the quick big. One of the fastest big that I've seen in the Simplify Stan Sheriff Arena. It's pretty fascinating to watch. All right, guys, what does Hawaii need to do to pick up the win? Well, I think they're going to need to continue to get production out of the outsides in the out-of-system play. We saw in that second set, Chaz Galloway getting a lot of high balls out of system, but Chaz doing a nice job in being productive. I think Hawaii's going to have to continue to rely on their pins because this is going to be an out-of-system type of night. I'd also love to see Tread run the Hawaii big as well, something that's super efficient. We haven't seen too much of it this season, but I think if Hawaii gets their big running, it will keep the Cardinal 
uh, middle blockers on their toes a little bit more. Top volley, top five volleyball matchup here in Mano, number three, Hawaii, number five, Stanford. We're tied at a set apiece. I've always had a love for anything local. Ever since I was a child visiting my grandma's lay shop, I felt a deep connection to the local shopkeepers, local artisans, and local farmers who make Hawaii so unique and so special. Today, I'm grateful to have a job helping Bank of Hawaii and its employees give back to our local communities. I'm Momia Kimsu from Bank of Hawaii, and I'm proud to help you live your happy. Too hot for you, boy? Better call Steve's. Steve's Plumbing and AC are the island expert when it comes to keeping you cool and dry. We offer same-day service from the island's most trusted team. Your honor can expect a technician that's clean, prompt, and always with aloha. This month, get your air condition running right with Steve's Workmanship's Guaranteed AC Tune-Up for only $79. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. Poke? Poke. We have a local way of saying everything. Passion fit. Lily koi. Donut. Malasada. Just like FICO, aka First Insurance Company of Hawaii. AKA Crispy Global Strength on the outside. Soft doy local service on the inside. Whatever you call them, gotta be. The left or no. For home, auto, and business insurance, get the kind First Insurance. I call him my miracle baby because he survived. When we couldn't find my son's heartbeat, the doctors and nurses at Kaiser Permanente sprang into action and saved his life. They took care of me beginning to end and that let me focus on my baby. It's really changed my perspective on what medical care can be. My husband and I are just so thankful. He's alive today because of them. World-class maternity care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. Well, celebrating Chinese New Year's here at Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. We got a good one on the Terraflex Hawaii and Stanford Cardinal took the opening set. Hawaii rebounded nicely in the second. Come up, the third set with Kanoa and Chris. Why is Kalo at the heart of American Savings Bank? Because we believe in strong roots. At ASB, we're committed to investing in Hawaii, our home. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. I got me a paradise. It's your paradise, too. Go from Mauka to Makai in style. In a Honda Accord, the perfect island ride. Eye-catching, comfortable, loaded with tech, and ready for your next holo holo across town. Get the fun started now in a new Accord for just $2.49 a month. Or any new Accord with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell him Henry said you. Let's keep our money in our community, not on the continent, so more families can continue to call Hawaii home. Use any ASB Visa debit card at participating businesses and save. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. You're watching Spectrum Sports, the home of University of Hawaii Sports. From coast to coast, you've seen us around. We live and work in the communities we serve. Our commitment runs deep. We're invested here, creating good jobs and supporting small businesses, many of which we're proud to call customers. You count on us to keep you connected to what matters most. And we're committed to delivering you the best internet, TV, and mobile service. We're Spectrum, connecting the places we all call home. For the land of the free and the home of the brave. Welcome back here to the Pizza Hut match statistics. Uh, you said it in the uh, second set, a uh, tale of two sets. Certainly the case, uh, distinct contrast between sets one and two, C-Mac. Yeah, much closer first set, and that's why the lopsidedness of set number two 
gives Hawaii better statistics, a better high, higher kill percentage, especially 370 to 263. Uh, you see Hawaii with fewer hitting errors as well. Blocks about even, digs about definitely even, and uh, service aces and errors, you know, about even. Hawaii hitting their service in a little bit better percentage at 89%, the Stanford is 81. So, uh, you know, the third set, who knows? I think if if, uh, if Stanford goes back to hitting their back row quick and using the middle a lot, I think they'll be more successful. And Hawaii's got to get more touches. If they do start, if Stanford does start doing that middle, they got to start getting more touches in the block. Where did Hawaii turn it, though? What did you see that was so distinctively different in that second set that allowed Hawaii to kind of change the, the vibe here in the building? Number one, their passing was way better. Their serving was way better. And if you were in the serving passing game, Kanoa, all the college coaches would say, oh, that's the game. Hawaii won the serve pass game there in set number two. Hawaii led by both Spiros Hakas and Alaka Itad, each with nine kills. Hakas hitting 500, Todd hitting 375. So some gaudy numbers there. Eliame Voss with four kills, no errors. He's hitting 500. Chaz Galloway was hitting in the negatives after set one, but uh, had a couple of moments in that second set. And uh, certainly some of his passing was also uh, important to what Hawaii was able to do. But they swapped sides after taking a little breather. And here we go, set three in this top five matchup. Fred Rosenthal to get us going. Outside, that's Lamp. Layout save Galloway, but to no avail. Uh, Zileu Choi goes nose diving into the seats. And a kill for Lamp and a point for Stanford. See that passes up inside the three meter line, giving Litsky a chance to run a fast offense. And there it is, quick to the outside. Two blockers up, and ooh, nice line hit that time by Lamp. Stanford 7-1 coming in. We mentioned suffering their first loss of the season in their last match against CSUN. And that's an ace. It just dropped down like it fell off of a table right along that end line. I thought it was for sure going out, and all of a sudden you're right. It hit it like a wind shear and just dropped straight down. But the 7-0 start before that CSUN loss, C-Mac. The first 7-0 start for Stanford since 1998. It's a long time. Two serving zero and a service error. Stanford preseason pick to finish second in the MPSF. Reigning national champ UCLA pick to repeat as winners of the MPSF. That one goes out. Stanford actually lost to UCLA in the MPSF tournament final a season ago. And it had been a case where the Cardinal got to that final for the second straight year, and that is the first time that that has happened in program history. Yeah, that would have been an NC 2A berth. Yep. So the service errors here acting as Hawaii's best offense in the early stage of set three. Notice a new insertion into the lineup for Stanford, Alex Rotman. And we saw him at the tail end of that second set. Played in just 12 sets coming into tonight. Well, that set was a little low for the middle Ethan Hill, but you know what? He's still able to deposit it. He's still got his cape on, doesn't he? <laughs> no errors at all. Seventh kill of the night. Out of 10, 10 tries, he's hitting no 700. Is that a good number or what? Unbelievable. There's Alex. I'm sure he wants to say hi to his brother, Will, who's on the mainland. That is an esteemed volleyball family, the Rotmans. How about that back set to Todd? And did he win it? Yes, he did. The set by Rosenthal was dynamic, to say the least, but it did drift a little tight to the net, so it was all on Alakai to pull off some improv. That's called bettering the ball, right? <laughs> we got a not so great set and turn it into a, a great kill. Some joust push right here. He's able to win it against the aforementioned Alex Rotman, whose dad was a two-time All-American at UCSB. Played with John Costi. Yep. And so Costi going way back with the family. And it's interesting when he talks about Will 
and Alex and how their personalities are a little different. Will, not short of the competitive flavor that is certainly a part of the lineage of that family, but not quite as outspoken and audacious about it, perhaps, as Will is. All the set, nobody home. So Stanford gets the point. I think that, you know what happened there? I think uh, Trent Roosevelt forgot that Alakali Tata rotated to the back row. And he, you know, he said behind him where Alakali Tata would normally be if he was front row. So five serving three. A little bit of disarray on the Hawaii side. Similar to some of the things we saw in that first set. That was a good swing by Neuster, but the dig by Ethan Hill, who can do very little wrong here so far in this match. But outside, it's Galloway! And that was a laser beam off the palm of Chaz. Great set by Trent Rosenthal, giving Galloway a one-on-one -on -one situation on the outside. Galloway going down the line. Four serving five as Chaz catches that one in the sweet spot. He's back to serve. And behind the head middle set again, this time goes to Gates. And he blasts it off of Neusterer and out for a Stanford point. Off the line, it's again one fifth year player to another. They kind of know each other, where each other is at all times. Let's get to Gates. So much experience on this Stanford team. Nine players are going to be leaving the program. Well, overpass is forced. And then over on two goes Litsky. Good reaction there. Troy popped it up. From the back row, it's Galloway. Goes through the hands and down. What a scramble play by the Warriors. It looked like they were going to lose the rally for sure until Spiros puts up a perfect set for Galloway. All the way in his fifth year with the program, ABCA All-American, honorable mention a season ago, was also first team all Big West. And really ramped up his game in Big West Conference play last year as Voss turns it back. Touched over, advantage Hawaii. Backside, here's Todd. Off the block and out. Alakai Todd with 11 kills to lead everybody on the floor. And that time he made sure he was behind that three meter line when he took off. You can just see the confidence continually swelling for Alakai Todd. His demeanor is different. He's got some swagger. He's, uh, he's out there. He's, <laughs> he's carrying himself like a dean <laughs> for good reason. Great pass by Rockman. Saved there by Alakai. The set, Hakas to Galloway. Those two have connected several times here tonight. Quick outside set was a little low, so Rosenthal with the block on Rotman. Over the shoulder swing, Hakas. From. Looser put up what I would call an average set, and Hawkins turns it into a great point with that swing. And we're gonna have a challenge from John Costi. Ah, net violation. Somewhere there was a net. Yeah, so he's gonna challenge that there was a net contact on the Hawaii side. As it currently stands, it's a three-point run here for the Rainbow Warriors. But now we wait and see what this is all about. So we're playing this from the net cam, really from the beginning of the point. So it goes back and forth several times, and let's see if we can catch any net violation. would maybe be the place where the net was jarred and shaken up the most. Exactly, and Rodman, Rodman made the call there by himself. He turned immediately to Costi and said, made the sign of a scene and said, Coach, challenge that one. I saw that guy going to the net. But is it evident via the replay? Take another look here. I think it is. Watch the, watch the net does when 
that come down. As the ball hits the net there, but yeah, maybe I think was there a little it. tug at the bottom exactly. of the net? Yeah. That's what I think it was. You exactly. might be right. Yeah. We will we'll see it on this particular replay right here. Here's Rosenthal going up and right oh, there boom. with his hand. Right yeah. hand. Good call, Cano. You Man, got that, that was one. all you. C-Mac the sleuth. <laughs> That's an easy call. Dixon Chunk can take his helmet off. Oh, there's no helmet on now. Dixon, you can stop doing the replay. It was obvious. Maybe we just put you in a... I mean, you already have a, a beautiful blue shirt, but maybe like one of those blue shirts, and then you can kind of just, you know, work double duty here. Oh. Rosenthal knows that he hit the net. <laughs> He's uh, sheepishly going back to his position. He was thinking he could possibly get away with a fast one. I mean, that's the balance, right? Do you yeah. want to be honest? Do you want to keep the match going? Or do you want to see if you can get a free point? Give that, give that point to Alex Rotman. He's the one who made it happen. And Kossi won the challenge. Kossi keeping his challenges intact. Two for, for the first four sets. So it goes from 7-6 Hawaii to 7-6 Stanford. Hawkins with three blockers up, and that rattled off the tape and out. And so a point for the Cardinal. I just say three total for the, for the first four sets. And then an extra one in the fifth. Not to exceed three, set, three challenges. And that sort of goes into the twine. So some ill-timed service errors here for Stanford have broken up some potential momentum runs for them. Yeah, it's uh, not so much the number of mistakes as when they've occurred. You're right, Kanoa. Seven serving eight. D set goes to Wagner. Off the block and down. He didn't get front by Leo Choi. Just to give it a run. But Moses Wagner starting to find his groove here. He's up to six kills. You're gonna like the way that he's bounced back from a shaky start. We started out with zero kills in three or four attempts before he got going. Pass pulls Rosenthal off the net, still sets up Hawkins. Great diving save by Rotman. Free ball coming over though. Rosenthal backside, Hawkins little roll shot. Set may not have been quite on the mark, or at least at the height he wanted. And taking advantage is Kevin Olamp. I love this dig by Alex Rotman right here. The left hand pops it up back into the court. Wow. Where his teammates can make a play on it. And Lamp finishes. Little knuckleball serve that time. There's Todd from the outside position. And it doesn't matter. You're sending a set his way. <laughs> the percentages are in your favor that he's going to terminate. You're right, and that time he got a set to where he normally does not get a set on the left side. He's a right side and a back row attacker of the D ball. And that's pretty much it. We rarely see him hit balls out there on the left. 19 attempts leads everybody on the floor. He has 12 kills. And they'll set the Hill diving save there back over the net by Troy. They go back to Hill blocked. Hill Get away up next to G-Boss. Denying access. Great block. How about Leo Troy's dig right here? You know, Leo means energetic in Hawaiian. And he is certainly being that tonight. And there is the block by G-Voss. And Chaz Gallery, I think G-Voss got most of it. Nine serving ten. That was some heat from Hakas. Backside, here's Todd, blocked and roofed. A little vengeance there, Kevin Lamp getting the gist of it. Oh, what a brilliant block by Kevin Lamp that time. Just goes straight up, turns his left hand into the court, and gets the block. Wow, that was a thing of beauty right there. So 
three total blocks for Stanford compared to four for Hawaii in this match. Here's Galloway, rising high. That one dug up over the net. Rosenthal back out to Chaz. And he is cleared for takeoff. He is getting warmed up. The rust is being knocked off after the last weekend, not playing at all. Oh, risk, uh, not risk management, but <laughs> load management. <laughs> Well, it could be risk management. Well, little... When you jump this high, there is some risk to playing. <laughs> I think he's warming up and playing much better these last two sets. Uh, that was a little extra juice on that hop by Moses Wagner as well. He's got seven kills. Unless when Stanford passes the ball, they play much better in, the, in this particular set. And they're winning that serving passing battle. Cardinal by two. Lamp to serve. 12 aces on the year. Into the net. You can maybe give the crowd an assist for that one. Yeah, they're starting to get into it, aren't they? A good crowd tonight on a Wednesday, nonetheless. For this top five matchup. And they want to pack the stand on it. On Friday, right? I'd imagine we're going to see an even denser crowd yeah. on Friday. Here's Todd on the serve. It's a good one. Cardinal out of system. Turner sets up Wagner, and he hits it out. Point Hawaii, and we are knotted up at 12. Beautiful set from Luke Turner that time. Oh, it was right, right on the money. Looping serve that time by Todd. Middle set, Hill, wrist away, wide. Ethan Hill showing his humanity here with a couple of hitting errors in this third set. And for just a moment, his Superman cape came off. And Hawaii jumps in front. They've scored three in a row. The pass there by Rotman. Back row. Net slowed down that swing by Lamp. But Hawaii is still unable to conjure up the save. Meanwhile, Kevin Lamp gets up to eight kills on the night. And again, Hawaii fortunate that was at least a hit because of the ricochet that gave them a chance to maybe play on, but still not actually seeing that big play coming. Outside, that's Rotman the deep diving save. By Alakutni, touched over by Neustra. Here's Moses Wagner trying to time it, blocked by Neustra. Now Rotman on the other side, big wind up, guarding the back line was Hakas. D set Todd, it was a little low, but he made it work anyway. He had to rush that approach. He did, he had to put the afterburners on to get to that set. And, and Trent Pollard, and uh, there's a save by Alakai earlier in the rally, but Rosenthal apologized to Todd after that, saying, sorry about that. I meant to get it higher. Well, 13 kills now for all the cut and Todd. Backside, here's Wagner. The block slowed it down. Punched up by Chaz. D set Todd. Does it again. Todd, we trust Alakai with 14 kills to lead everybody on the floor. I've always had a love for anything local. Ever since I was a child visiting my grandma's lace shop, I felt a deep connection to the local shopkeepers, local artisans, and local farmers who make Hawaii so unique and so special. Today, I'm grateful to have a job helping Bank of Hawaii and its employees give back to our local communities. I'm Momia Kimsu from Bank of Hawaii, and I'm proud to help you live your happy.
Starting the new year off on the right foot isn't always easy. Luckily, my longs has everything I need. Make longs a part of your day. Spending too much on electricity? Then you need the Generac Power Cell. It's a solar battery system designed to lower your monthly bills and keep the lights on during power outages. Thousands of Hawaii homeowners have installed the Power Cell, and it really does pay to go green. Generac Power Cell Solar Plus qualifies for both state and federal tax incentives, in addition to utility program bonuses. These certified installers know how to help you save. Give them a call. Power your home with Generac Power Cell and keep your money in your wallet. Welcome back, Alakai Todd. 14 kills. That's two off of his career high, which was set on that road trip to the state of Indiana. And he put up 16 kills against Purdue Fort Wayne. But this is against the fifth ranked team in the country, C Mac. Big difference. Big difference. 15 serving 13 as Hawaii has assumed pole position. And that one is put down there by Nathaniel Gates. First match, passed that time. I think it was you know, Turner that put that ball up. A little soft serve by Galloway, but it was tough to pass. And Turner put it right up there so that they could run a quick offense. Wagner, that was a bit of a blasty blast there. Cross court bump set tight to the net. Well, what, you're just getting it over, but it was easy pickings there for Nathan Litsky who gets his fourth kill here in this match, and we're tied at 15. Setters love it, but they get a chance to go up there and rip away. Oh, well, setting everybody else. You see the near collision there at the stanchion. Hawkes tried to put a little extra sauce on it. Caught it a bit fat, and it goes out. And Stanford, just like that, scoring three in a row and taking over the lead. Marcus mad himself. He's a perfectionist, you know. He likes to make every shot a kill. So when he misses one, he's hard on himself. Overpass. And again, Litsky gets the put down. And Hawaii. Having a little bit of difficulty here with this Moses Wagner service delivery, and that prompts Charlie Wade to signal for a timeout. Stanford has scored the last four. They lead by two. Still? Yeah. How many pages got left? 30. Break time. Good looking out. I got you. I got you. Double up on delicious. Order one of your favorite items from the bundle menu and get the second for only a dollar. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months or get 2,000 in that cash on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Keeping Hawaii student athletes in top shape starts with protecting their teeth. That's why Hawaii Dental Service encourages student athletes to use mouth guards to prevent or reduce the impact of an injury. Mouth guards are not just for football players, but can help protect all sports athletes. Custom fit mouth guards can lessen the impact of a sports injury to the head, protecting the mouth, jaw, and face. Parents, encourage your student athletes to ask their coach or school's athletic director about using a mouth guard so they can live well and smile more with HDS. Why is Kahlo at the heart of American Savings Bank? Because we believe in strong roots. At ASB, we're committed to investing in Hawaii, our home. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. Welcome back. Well, it's been a third set that has seen a lot of swings back and forth. And Stanford has the most recent one with four straight points, and you see the stat line put together by Nathan Litsky, a handful of kills to go along with his 28 assists, three digs, and a block. We mentioned coming into this match, he was the team leader in assists, aces, and digs. An all-around player, a little more responsibility due to the absence of Will Rotman. Out of the timeout, Spiros Hakkis gets it down for a much-needed point. Well called 
timeout by Charlie Wade that time. He had to slow down the Stanford server, Wagner. And so here's Keone Thim. A couple of service aces here tonight. Or service errors, I should say, here tonight. Took a little something off that time. Almost got the ace. It goes over the net, and Rosenthal takes a crack at it and gets the kill as it falls to the floor. And gets some help from his teammates getting up. I think he was lying down and we're kind of celebrating a little bit. An interesting decision there by Spiros not to go up and try to take a whack at it as it was drifting over the net. Yeah, I think it was too obvious that the ball uh, was going to be blocked by at least one or two guys if Spiros had tried that. So I think he made the wise decision to pass it up. And Rosenthal, a bit of an awkward landing. Saw him fall to the Terraflex. Looked like he was sort of kneading that hip area. And, yeah. uh, he has been, as most of the players are, a third of the way through the season. He's been a little bit nicked up. Uh, he looks never worse for wear here after that play. And we're tied again at 17. Fim. A lot of volleyball in Greece, overseas, internationally, here at the University of Hawaii in his last year. He's just had a lot of volleyball. He knows when, when, uh, when to help in the middle and when not to. 18 serving 17. Then, oh, he brought the smoke show. Hawkins couldn't get it down off the block. Here's Hawkins a second time. has been rocking back and forth here in the third. It is swinging back to the Hawaii side. Starting the new year off on the right foot isn't always easy. Luckily, my longs has everything I need. Make longs a part of your day. It was important that 15 Craigside allow pets because Viva, our Havanese, is part of our family. We looked at all the other alternatives for senior living, and 15 Craigside presented the most comprehensive senior living services, including guaranteed lifetime care. From our personal experience, what I would say to anyone considering moving into 15 Craigside is don't wait, because the window of opportunity might not be there when you're ready. Pokey? Pokey. We have a local way of saying everything. Passion fit. Lily koi. Donut. Malasada. Just like FICO, AKA First Insurance Company of Hawaii. AKA Crispy Global Strength on the outside. Soft doughy local service on the inside. Whatever you call them, gotta be the left or no. For home, auto, and business insurance, get the kind First Insurance. Welcome back, Spiros Hakas. Bringing some of that senior leadership for Hawaii. Coming off of a couple of matches where he was able to rest up and gear up for this Stanford team. And yet he's got some juice flowing. Yeah, he, the adrenaline is in full swing, that's for sure. 11 kills, hitting 333. Got two block solos. Meanwhile, Keone Thim doing the job from the service line on this run. Wagner is blocked back, gets his own cover. Now Rotman. Oh, that was hard and heavy. Ooh, that was a swing and a half. Great shot by Alex. He goes up and just comes crossbody, fooling the block, and hammering it down before the back row could even react. Great He's shot. Now back to serve. Crowd trying to get in his ear. 
Rosenthal sets up Spiros off the fingertips of the block. There's Luke Turner. Now Lamp! Oh, the lamp was switched off. <laughs> and Hawaii gets to 20. G Voss. Here's the hardest five points to get, though, Kamala. Yep. 20 to 25. Tough. And serving down the line like that can help. Here's the lamp. <laughs> Goodness, you never run out. Great block. A beautiful set from Linsky. Again, that was a, a way better set than I thought that he would manage to get up. But uh, just too much rainbow block. Lights out. A 6-1 run here for Hawaii. They lead by three. Let's check in with Ryan. Hey, thanks, Kono. Well, we're seeing the aggressive swings by Stanford in large part because the players are responding to their coaching staff. The coaching staff saying, hey, no more tips, no more jousts, no more roll shots. Be aggressive, swing at every ball. And so we're seeing that. Luckily, Hawaii's block has been able to silence the attack by Stanford. On the Hawaii sideline, head coach Charlie Wade taking time to talk to both Guillermo Boss as well as Trent Rosenthal about their connection, specifically on the three set. They're trying to get that into a more crisp connection and establish the middle set a little bit more here late in this match. Back over to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. It's been interesting. We've seen different versions of volleyball throughout different stages of this match where it was a blow for blow, back and forth, trading points type of set early in the first set. And then we saw Stanford assume control of that first frame. Things went completely the other way in the second set where Stanford was having some ball control issues and Hawaii taking advantage, hitting for a fat number. And here we've seen now in this third set, these, these little mini runs that have gone both ways, three points here, four points in a row there. Uh, and it's been pretty interesting to see the response from each side when that has happened. Yeah, it really has been fun to watch this tug of war that's been going on. And again, it's coming down to the serve and pass game. When Hawaii serves well or Stanford serves well and puts the other team in trouble, they score points. Very simple. And they lead 21-18. Trying to take a two sets to one advantage here in this match. Passed by Rotman's a good one. D set goes to Wagner. One hand save effort by Galloway winds up in the seats. So Moses Wagner now gets up to eight kills. He's tied with Lamp for the team lead in that category. John Costi says about Wagner, he's not necessarily an old soul himself, but he says, I feel like he has an old soul background, and he sort of carries himself with a quiet confidence. Takas. was one world-class swing right there. The block well set up on him. Really, the only place he could go was over the top. If he could get high enough, he has a high snap anyway, the way he swings. And uh, that was a big point for Hawaii to get to 22 first. And with the serve. Hawaii up three. It's Wagner into that corner right there was Hawkins defensively. Back row set to Spiros was a little the dink shot is picked up, and then Lamp is dug up by Choi. So both set rolls in fall. Galloway going to try to time it. He gets blocked, gets his own cover. Choi keeps it alive. Hawaii still scrambling. Voss sets up Rosenthal, who has to two-hand it over. Pushed back by Litsky. Here's Galloway. Oh, the save along the back line by Rotman. Stanford on the attack. Lamp roll shot. There's Rosenthal. So Spiros to Chaz. The tip. Pancake save Wagner. Lamp. There's the first pancake. Nice play from Wagner, and here's the second one. Does he work for the International House or what? <laughs> what do you think? I think he has the side job, and it's just so easy for him. He, he brought his spatula with him to the arena. He did. 
So we are going to get a challenge, it appears, from Charlie Wade. I'm going to say wow. that the ball hit the ground on one of those pancakes. Now, just based on those preliminary angles that we saw, I'm not sure if he has much beef there. They looked pretty they, good. They looked pretty good. From those angles, we'll see. What a rally, though. That was incredible. That, that rally had a little bit of everything in it. It had, you know, it had the, the spatulas going on, had the hard hits going on, had a little bit of blocking. So this one might be the one that has most, this is the first pancake save there by Wagner. Might have the most opportunity for an overturned call. But from that angle, looks like he got it under. Yeah, I think he got it. He also, in that, that first angle, you can see his hand and not the ball pop up. I mean, regardless, his hand that's just an incredible effort. Well, you can see his hand the whole time. And there is the ball not hitting the floor, hitting his hand instead. Yeah, it's going to be Clean tough play. to overturn. Yeah, I think so. This is the second one. And this one seemed even clearer. Yeah, he's well yeah, under he's, that one, yeah. He's got the whole hand absolutely, under there. Absolutely, absolutely. We're, we're seeing some high-level volleyball, and you got to love the intensity. I mean, is there anything like watching <laughs> top-level intercollegiate volleyball in this building? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really special. And Friday night on Whiteout, pack the stand night, yeah. as they're marketing it, should be even better. If it could get better than this, I'm not sure. Well, we do have some attendance numbers here for tonight. Tickets issued 6,125 through the turnstile, 5,212 on a Wednesday, yeah. mind you. Amazing. So Charlie losing that challenge. Still got two in his pocket. Oh, what a lead by two, and the most dangerous server for Stanford behind the line, and Nathan Litsky. Sure his mom, Kathy and dad, Glenn, are home in Austin watching this. If not being, maybe they're here in Hawaii, I'm not sure. Like, they're the ones who put on the one point in the tournament every early preseason in Austin. Yeah, these two teams participated in the first point event a couple of years ago. We were just talking about the 31 set. I'm working on the connection out there. And sure enough, boom. There it is. You see where he's going for the gap right there? They're used to him going straight on the setter. And instead, he was going away from their setter, creating some space. Kevin Calling with the serve. Backside, that's a lamp. And it is played back over by Galloway. Lamp a second time. Down the line, the up by Calling. Nurser, tough bump set there. So now Stanford on the attack. Middle set was a little low for Hill. The save by Rosenthal. Set Hawkins to Todd. a well-formed Stanford block. Todd now with 15 kills. Aloha ball in the third. And this is what you love, C-Man. This is how you do it. Everybody on their feet. Ah, oh, Collins sends it into the twine. And it remains Aloha ball. Of all people, he's the least one you would expect. He's the veteran, he's the senior, he's the old guy. Some, you know, a couple more points to play with. Most of the fans still standing, understanding that it's still a low ball. And you've been advocating for this for years. Well, it's, just what, it's just what the rest of the country does that, to make it more of a home advantage. You know, every league in the Big West, every team in the Big West, every team in the MPSF, they all do it. Lamp with the serve. Passed by Huckus is a good one. Backside, Alakai. Denied. 
side. That was Hill jumping up next to Rodman and a little extra stare through the twine in the direction of Alakai Todd after that denial. That was a big time block. Big time block. Those two well formed and pressing back into the court. I think Alex Rotman got most of it. And so Hawaii with the timeout. And that allows things to simmer just a little yeah. bit here in the arena. <laughs> good good uh, timeout call by John Cossey. His last one, no more slowing things down now. I think Charlie has used both of his, his timeouts as well. So still a low ball here for the Rainbow Warriors. These two teams have had so many battles over the years. I'll tell, you what's, I'll tell you what's going on in the huddles right now, Camilla. And Kossi is saying, here's where we think the ball is going to go. It's going to be going to either Arkai Todd, or maybe, I'm not sure who, where the rotation is, but because he's led them in kills all night, he's going to make sure that his blockers all know where Alakai is. Is that fair to say? I think so at this point. Yeah. 15 kills hitting 417, Alakai Todd. Uh, one kill off of tying his career high. Let's send it over to Ryan. Well, that's exactly what's happening here on the Stanford sideline. The coaching staff taking majority of this time out, really just trying to figure out what Hawaii's going to do on this next play. Really talking about where Alakai Todd is. Also, Spiros Hawk is an option from the pick in the backcourt on the Hawaii sideline. Head coach Charlie Wade taking time to talk to his freshman setter, Chad Rothenthal, about their options. He was calling for a three set, maybe to kind of pull the middle blocker for Stanford over to open up the back set or the pick. But first, Hawaii has got to pass coming out of this timeout. Back over to you. Thanks a lot, Ryan. It'll be the third set point. Out of this timeout. I like the Vic Desperos on a good pass. Twenty-two serving twenty-four. Kevin Lamb. Pass by Galloway. Middle set. Newstore blocked. Played up and it will be returned by Galloway. Middle set. Hill. Another Hawaii-Stanford battle. And the Rainbow Warriors will have a chance to deliver the knockout in the fourth. Why is Kahlo at the heart of American Savings Bank? Because we believe in strong roots. At ASB, we're committed to investing in Hawaii, our home. American Savings Bank, voted best bank in Hawaii. In Hawaii, a healthy smile shows love for a family. It appreciates the culture of its community. It builds partnerships, conveying ideas and aloha. Our smiles preserve what makes us local and what makes Hawaii home. HCS preserved its local roots and the healthy smiles of Hawaii for 60 years. Our mission is more than preserving oral health. It's preserving happy and healthy lives. HCS, live well, smile more. The canoe has really grounded me to my culture and to Hawaii. My passion and my love is really about voyaging and wayfinding and, and teaching. And knowing that, that there was a time where none of this was, was in Hawaii. It's now my responsibility, my generation, our kuleana, to, to make sure that it never happens again. Oh, yeah. Hot honey pizza and wings from Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Pizza Wahat. Hot honey pizza and wings. It's the first new flavor to make you say Pizza Wahat. Welcome back. Well, the Hawaii block has emerged, particularly in that third set where they have five blocks alone in the frame. And that's the last one by Neusser to finish the third set. But Hawaii doubling up in blocks on Stanford. Eight to four, I believe, is, is the last number. Yeah, eight to four. And uh, I'm not sure I would have guessed that if you'd asked me before. Look at Voss with five kills, hitting 556. 
He's been in on three blocks. That's uh, maybe it's gonna be come down. Maybe it's gonna come down to which t which team can block the, the other team better. Who knows? Well, what you hit 185 in set one, then hit 556 in the second. In the third, they went for a 381 clip. So overall for the match, Hawaii had 353 swinging. Stanford 227 for the match. There you see the kill percentage comparison in that third frame. Stanford on the year normally hits over 300, 313 on the year. Yeah, Hawaii hitting 401 for the season. Actually tops in the NCAA in hitting percentage, but you have to take some of the competition into account, uh, yeah. obviously. Uh, and yet, here they are against the fifth-ranked team in the country. 353, not too shabby a percentage to this point. Yeah, that's, that's Im impressive, to say the least. Alaka Itad been leading the way. 15 kills. That's one off of tying his career high. He also has seven digs in this one, c -Man. Yeah, he, that, that right-back position where he plays in the back row tends to get a lot of, a lot of digs, and he's, uh, he's coming through. Playing a good, solid, all-around game. I'm impressed, though, that, that he's got the 15 Ks with only five errors and hitting 417. 417 is a, a good number for an opposite. And uh, he just seems to not be slowing down in his progress and his confidence, just getting better and better. It was also interesting, too, Charlie Wade, who's never one to be overly hesitant when it comes to making any kind of substitution or change, uh, decided, despite the shortcoming in that first set and falling 25-21, despite Chaz Galloway being held to just one kill and hitting negatives in that first set, he stayed with them, stayed with this lineup, uh, and it's, it has certainly come around and paid off the last two frames. Absolutely, and Chaz has brought some amazing, uh, amazing passing. That's what he's been doing, and some digging as well. But most of the passing has been, he's been a, you know, real, real anchor back there in the back row. He and Leo Choi have been doing most of the passing. I and mean, you think about it, a guy like Chaz Galloway, Spiros Hawkins, and he can throw G balls, really the senior class. All they have known is playing top caliber, national championship yeah. level volleyball. Yeah. yeah it's, it's been really special to watch. And, and this Stanford team, if they, if they pass well on this set, it could very well go the other way, and we could be in a five-set match. Yeah, when you get up into this range of competition, the margins are so small. One-handed back set, two-handed over the net by Wagner. So high ball, it's Hawkins. Three blockers against him. And Rotman able to scoop it. And he will send a freebie back over Hawaii's way. Rosenthal goes to Voss, tip shot, pushed up in the air by Gates. On the outside, Lamp is blocked by Rosenthal. So here's Wagner from behind the line. Somehow got it through the block, but it's going to be a Stanford point. I'm not exactly sure what the specific call is. I think they're going to call a double contact. Yeah, exactly, call it double hit, hit his foot and then his body. I think I was sure on the way up. Well, that was a pretty lengthy <laughs> rally to get this fourth set started. But the Cardinal taking. Middle set, that's Voss. That time pins it off of the hands for Hawaii's first point of the four. Watch both sides and who passes more balls inside the three meter line. I think that's the team that's going to win this fourth set. Ed Rosenthal, coming from a family of athletes. A good serve there, it's an ace. Here's a guy who's 17 years old, should still be in high school. And he's back there serving up aces, occasionally serves as floor captain, and just dishes up, and maybe the future USA team setter. Yeah, all signs kind of pointing at that possibility. A good serve, good pass by Lamp, though. Back row, it's Rotman. Voss slowed it down. The Rosenthal went outside. Hawkins with the big windup. The swing by Litsky, and that's in. So good ad lib that time by Nathan Litsky. A significant point about that play. Not only Litsky's a great swing there, but the fact that Hawaii finally got a touch on the back row quick from Stanford. Finally got a touch. 
So Litsky now up to six kills <laughs> to go along with 30 assists. We're tied at two in the fourth. High ball goes to Todd, cracks it off the hands, saved from the out-of-bounds area by Gates, and bumped over the net there by Wagner. Hawaii on the attack, Voss gets it past Hill. Voss now with seven error-free kills, and Hawaii up one. It's fun watching the mano-a-mano -mano battle between Hill and Voss, isn't it? Well, you'd have to imagine, for Guilherme Voss, there haven't been too many experiences over his career where he's run into an opposing middle that has been able to gain too much of an advantage. But in this matchup, Ethan Hill has had, his, you, you could argue, a little bit of the edge mano a mano. Exactly, and, and I think that uh, any rotations, he, I, I'm not sure they face each other all three rotations, but at least two of the three rotations they face each other. Get that one into the net by Hawkes. And uh, got awfully close to hitting one of his uh, front yeah. row mates. <laughs> Eighth service error of the night for Hawaii. Stanford has 11. Well, getting back to Ethan Hill and Voss in that battle, I think maybe you could see for Guilherme Voss, a competitor like him, as that was a laser beam ace by Nathan Litsky. You can just see the intensity and his desire to play right back at Ethan Hill, and Givos doing so with seven kills, no errors, hitting 583. But this is ace number three for Litsky on the night. He's got all going on right now. He's someone I'm sure is going to play some professional ball in Europe next year. Into the Here is Givos to serve. Kurt Neustor into the front row. Will it be the jump float or will it be the... A little extra. Yeah, it is a jump float. Middle set, that's Hill. Did that get over the net? No, they're going to say the tape denied it. And so it's a point for Hawaii on the four contact violation. And that came off of a jump float and the other team taking the ball with their hands on certain reception. So it was a perfect pass and they could not convert. It just goes to show it doesn't always have to be thunderous bombs from the service line to be effective. But that one was a little extra. Sprinkled some chips and water on it, and G Boss gets the ace. It's almost like a pitcher throwing the ball with their right hand and then putting the glove in the other hand and throwing left handed. Ball showed a little bit of everything tonight. Time pulled the string. That's set a little tight to the net. Todd will play it on the ricochet back over. Rosenthal back to Alakai. Oh, what a dig there by Rotman. Here's Wagner over the double block, guarding the back line was Hawkes. Oh, high ball set goes over the net and out of bounds. As Rosenthal let that one get away from him in a significant way. Very unusual. We don't see many errors from the young man, do we? No. As far as location goes, just some subtle ones here and there. And that one is served long. I see that toss was way far, too far into the court. Those jump serves, it's not so much a factor or a function of the arm swing as much as it is a function of how good the toss is. Back set, Wagner, two hands it over. Saved there by Todd, and then Neustor hits it into the string. Set was a little on the low side. system here. Cross court bump set goes to Galloway and he sends it airborne and out. So we're tied at seven in Hawaii. A couple of mix-ups on its side. Giving away some points here. 
time is not like that. Good pass that time. Here's Galloway. Rising above. I like the way that Roosevelt went back to Galloway there. Could have gone middle there on a perfect pass. Could have gone behind. Instead, he went back to Galloway, and Galloway delivered. He can just defy gravity. And now behind the line to serve Hawaii, back up one. Litsky going backside to Wagner, blocked. Sent back over on the cover by Rotman. Outside, Hawkes, tip shot, punched up in the air by Gates, but we're gonna have a whistle and a net violation against the Cardinal. Point Hawaii, they're up two. And that violation happened right next to referee Wayne Lee. That's why he was the one that called it right there where Wagner's shirt, jersey, and chest all hit the net. Sir Galloway, great pass, Luke Turner. The set, though, drifted. Yeah, that set just got away from Litsky that time, and Rosenthal made him pay. So three straight points for Hawaii. Largest lead for the Rainbow Warriors in this fourth set. Service error gives it right back. And we talk about the setting matchup here. And Tread Rosenthal, his first year playing volleyball was for the Austin Juniors. Tread was 12, and Nathan Litsky was with the 18s and was considered, according to uh, Tread's family, uh, considered kind of his idol. And Tread would go early to practice to watch Nathan get extra reps. Tread was a libero that year, and Nathan inspired him to actually convert and become a setter. Great work story. I did not find that in the bios. I did not find that in Facebook. I did not find that in Instagram. I can't keep up with you. Kanoa, you're unbelievable. Now we gotta give the assist to uh, Ryan Kalei Suji. That actually was an uh, anecdote uh, that was uh, provided by Tred's mom, oh, as a nice, matter of fact. Nice. Oh, that one. Is that a C-Mac touch them all? Uh, no, it's, it's got to be harder than that. Warning, warning track, Paul. It's got to be hit with a warning track, okay, yes. Okay. Double, ground rule double. <laughs> I'll tell you when it's a touch and ball. Shred's mom, Lindsay, played volleyball at Notre Dame. Made a name Treadwell, which is why Shred's name is Tread. Back row. Into the net. Well, that back real quick has been so flawless all night. Only recently did Hawaii get a touch, and that time they got a hit into that. Tide maybe turning the other way. Yeah, that play was unstoppable. In fact, Hawaii wasn't even seeing it coming. No, it was a thing of beauty there. The first, first set it was flawless, and, and part of the second set. 12 serving nine, Newster. I don't think we'll see any more 18 point runs this year. Uh, that was maybe the first and last time we'll ever see something like that, especially from a middle. I've been calling this for 40 years. I've never seen anything <laughs> close to it. It's unbelievable. That was wild. And Rotman sends it into the net. Yeah, Kurt Neuster, speaking to Fred Rosenthal, Neuster, who is known to uh, pregame routine by playing a chess match with one of his teammates, uh, went up against Rosenthal today, and uh, Kurt was uh, very quick to say and report that he won. Yeah, he likes to report that, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. And that's an ace. Rosenthal drops it like it's hot. Didn't, didn't, uh, yep, that's a great shot. Didn't this also say in your radio show this week that an 18 0 run is like, is so rare that it's, it, you, you, you see snow falling like you can eat before you see another one. <laughs> Timeout Stanford, Hawaii by four in the fourth. Being Hawaii's best bank has been our goal since we were Hawaii's first bank. 
But being first was just the beginning of a bigger journey, a deeper commitment. One first leading to another is how we set the standard for an industry and help turn trial runs into traditions. Because being first once just makes you the oldest. Doing it every day is what makes you the best. Bank on the best. First Hawaiian Bank. It all starts with yes. Bruno! Bruno! Pop on the run? No problem. With five drive modes, Rogue makes this a walk in the park. Drive the Nissan Rogue. Now get 1.9% APR financing for 60 months or get 2,000 in Mac cash on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Just call Steve's. You've seen our trucks everywhere, and there's a reason why. Steve's Plumbing and AC is always on, offering same-day service from the island's most trusted team. Your Ohana can expect a plumber that's clean, prompt, and always with aloha. This month, get clogged toilets or slow drains flowing with Steve's drain clearing for only $89. Get the yuck on stock. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. So here is some footage of the pregame chess match <laughs> right there on the court, on the Terraflex. This is uh, this was a couple weeks back, uh, actually. Uh, Kurt Neusterer battling Tred Rosenthal. Neusterer uh, was victorious that day, and they played again uh, earlier today. And uh, Neusterer came up to me with Tred, uh, his arm around his teammate <laughs> Rosenthal's uh, shoulders, and he said, uh, hey, let me introduce you to my friend Owen. He said, Owen too, because he had beaten him again. the wall. Hawaii gets to 15 first. So Stanford calls the timeout. One sequence later, it's the media timeout. And Hawaii is up a handful in set four. There's nothing I love more than being a farmer. Every day I get to care for my sheep and feel connected to the land. Believe it or not, I think it makes me better at my other job, managing Bank of Hawaii's branches in Hilo. Because like farming, Banking is all about caring for the needs of customers and businesses in our local community so they can grow and reach their fullest potential. I'm Steven Sylvester, and I'm proud to work for a company that gave a farmer like me the chance to make a difference in my community. Starting the new year off on the right foot isn't always easy. Luckily, my longs has everything I need. Make longs a part of your day. I got me a paradise. It's your paradise, too. There's this beach. It's kind of a secret. I said secret. Perfect getaways call for the perfect island ride. Honda SUVs. Roomy, reliable, rugged. To make getting to your getaway half the fun. Now get into a CRV for just $2.99 a month or any CRV with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry sent you. Busy week in Manoa. Two men's volleyball matches, two Rainbow Warrior basketball games on Saturday. Uh, that'll cap the week of action. Hawaii taking on UC Davis. Our coverage on Spectrum Sports begins at 6.30. And then we will all give way to the big game on Sunday. <laughs> 15 serving 10. And we see the numbers for Tred Rosenthal. Pair of aces here in this match. D set goes to Wagner. Tip shot right there was Choi. So Rosenthal backside the Todd. And how about that swing? That was not Kurt Rosenthal's best set of the night. I'm telling you, it drifted way inside. Todd had to scramble to get there, and then somehow got it inside the block. And into that area one position, picks up his 16th kill. And that ties his career high set just a couple of weeks ago on the road against Purdue Fort Wayne. Middle set, and that was pegged there by Nathaniel Gates. 
So Paul got you Todd with the career high tie in 16 kills. He's at 345. Also one dig away from his first career double-double. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm sure he'd be very proud to be able to do that. Rosenthal sets up Hawkins. Despite Hawaii having a six-point lead here in the back third of the of the fourth set, they cannot let their guard down. This is too good a Stanford team for them to go, oh, we got this in the bag. Back row, Rotman, case in point. Back row quick is back. Ooh, Alex Rotman got an open net there. Out of Santa Barbara High School in California. 12 serving 17. Litsky, the dangerous server. But passed that time by Choi, and then he does it again. A new career high for Alaka Itad. 17 kills. He's had quite the night. The rest of the Rainbow offense was struggling. He just started cranking it up. This is turning into quite the story here this season. I'll look at top. Yeah, it really is. Here's Keone Thim. A gasp from the crowd, and then Rotman sends it out. Was there a touch? No touch. Oh, Rotman had the whole floor in front of him. Trying to look for the miles per hour on his serve. But a fan was standing right in front of the radar gun. But it had to be at least 70, is my guess. John Costi signaling for a timeout. We'll take a break as well. Hawaii closing in. There's nothing I love more than being a farmer. Every day, I get to care for my sheep and feel connected to the land. Believe it or not, I think it makes me better at my other job, managing Bank of Hawaii's branches in Hilo. Because like farming, Banking is all about caring for the needs of customers and businesses in our local community so they can grow and reach their fullest potential. I'm Steven Sylvester, and I'm proud to work for a company that gave a farmer like me the chance to make a difference in my community. From Maka to Makai Honda, your perfect island ride. When you're cruising in a sporty Civic or an adventurous HRV, roll down the windows, crank up the music, and let the Manava Maikai roll. Honda is the most awarded brand in car and driver's 10 best history. Get into a Civic now and get the Paina started for just $249 a month or any Civic with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell them Henry said. Oh, just call Steve's. You've seen our trucks everywhere and there's a reason why. Steve's Plumbing and AC is always on, offering same day service from the island's most trusted team. Your Honda can expect a plumber that's clean, Prompt and always with aloha. This month, get clogged toilets or slow drains flowing with Steve's Drain Clearing for only $89. Get the yuck on stock. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. Welcome back. 17 kills, a new career high for Alaka Todd. Still one dig away from his first career double double as well. He's having a great night. How about this, this number? Stanford hitting 0, 0 0 this set. Four kills, four errors, and only siding out at 44% level. <laughs> that was a rod there from Keone Thim. And it winds up a Hawaii point as the set exchange was also off the mark. And so now you're starting to see Stanford hitting the skids a little bit here. It's Starting to come off the rails just a tad for John Costi's yeah, crew. They're getting some pretty good passes, too. I'm surprised their offense isn't smoother right now. <laughs> 20 serving 12. Them taking a little something off that time. Outside, oh. Wagner. Blocked and removed. Alakai. Turning it back. Nice blocks. Now 10 to 4 over the card. 
Notice that Finn Finn's learning to use more tools in his tool bag other than the 75 mile an hour heater all the time. Oh, we got the heater there though. What a pass by Rodman. Tip shot, Snowy blocked, and roofed. Hawaii is running away. Five in a row, they lead by double digits. And Kelly Finn just ripped that Rodman. What a pass. That had to be 70 plus on the radar gun. And Rodman popped it right up. Adam Chang put into the match by John Costi, replacing Ethan Hill. I think that was just to slow down Kelly Pym. Oh, that toss was a little off the mark. Backside, Snowy over the block and out. No touch. That's six in a row for the Rainbow Warriors. I mean, this thing turned around after that first set, where Hawaii yeah. kicked it into gear when it looked like Stanford had come in, despite being shorthanded with a level of intensity that the Rainbow Warriors weren't quite ready for. Luke Turner's a really good passer, a really good libero. He could not get out of the way of that serve. And they rise here at Simplified Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. Aloha ball for the match. Rodman will get a swing out of it. The dig, Hawkes, advantage, Hawaii. Hawkes right up the row. And it is over. Welcome back, Spiros Hawkes. Hawaii scores the last eight points of set four to take it in four and improve to nine and one on the season, taking down the fifth ranked Cardinal. After dropping the first set 25-21, the Rainbow Warriors flipped it around and they would not look back, especially in that fourth frame. Yeah, this, you know that, in that third set, could have gone either way. It was 25-22, it could have gone either way, but Hawaii merged victorious in that one. But I can't believe this, how the switch got flipped in the middle here of the fourth set. Like, I really thought that going to, you know, this, the, the beginning of the fourth set was back and forth a little bit. Then all of a sudden, it was like the Ferrari left the Volkswagen behind. And how about Keone Fim able to finish that match from the service line? It has been... That kind of storyline for Hawaii, finishing matches with these long runs from the service line here in the last week. The Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match. Let's take a look. For Stanford, 32 assists for Nathan Litsky to go along with six kills, three digs, three aces, and Alaka Itad goes career against the Stanford Cardinal. 17 kills hit 367, three blocks, nine digs, and an ace. Scott Robbs is with the winning head coach. Yes, I am. Congratulations, Charlie. It looked like it took you guys a set to kind of get calibrated. And, and then after that, I thought, probably the best volleyball you've played all year considering the opponent. Yeah, kind of in spurts. You know, and the first set, maybe a little rust with Chaz and Spiros. We made some unforced hitting errors. I think we had six hitting errors in the first set. I want to say we ended up probably averaging around eight a set, which is, you know, a little, little under our average right now. Pretty good, but... Uh, uh, you know, proud of Tread, like he was not very good at times, but he's good enough and he's just doing some great stuff from the service line and um, is a really good team that we played tonight. And I, I can't say how appreciative we have this kind of crowd on a Wednesday night to come out. Uh, you guys got to come out Friday. It'll even be more entertaining. Come on out. It'll be a lot of fun. I like how you Todd with a career high in kills tonight. 
Has he, has he exceeded your expectations? No, because I said like three, four years ago, he was the best player in the gym sometimes. So um, it's just great to be able to let everybody else see what he's been able to do. And uh, now it's his time and he's shining. Really impressive. And Ileo, I thought he really steadied out your passing tonight. Yeah, Ileo's one of those guys too. It's his fifth year here. He's just done unbelievable stuff. And how about Keone Thim from the service line? Struggled, missed both times in sets one and two, and really blew open sets three and four from us. Big performance from him tonight. Congratulations. We'll see you on Friday. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Thanks a lot, Scott. Yeah, Leu Choi with double digits in digs. Ten digs. We mentioned Alaka Ita just one dig away uh, from what would have been his first career double-double. But uh, this Hawaii team uh, is its own story, obviously. But uh, Alaka Ita becoming a story uh, in his own right. Uh, you will be hard-pressed to find another player at this top level of college volleyball uh, that has been able to raise his game in such immediate fashion from being a reserve player and part-time used uh, commodity uh, to now being a guy who is an absolute force right now for this Hawaii team. You gotta remember he was playing behind Demetrius uh, Mucleus and uh, for two years. And, and then so, before that, Rado Potapuna. And before that, Rado. <laughs> so he's been this quiet guy in the, on the B side, just doing his job, getting better and better. Now all of a sudden, it's his time to shine, and he's fully taken advantage of it. Really fun to watch. He was a, a good high school player. He's becoming a great college player. Well, uh, as Charlie alluded to, Friday night, it's going to be the Hanan Ho rematch. And uh, you've always said at CMAC, uh, the second nights are always more competitive. Uh, we saw some high-level volleyball and stretches here this evening, so it's going to be a good one. Get on down. It's a whiteout night. Uh, here at Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center. That'll do it for us. Don't forget about the post-game show. They'll break down an impressive turnaround victory for the Rainbow Warriors. But for now, for CMAC, Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy. Until next time, everybody, we bid you aloha from Mano. Starting the new year off on the right foot isn't always easy. Luckily, my longs has everything I need. Make longs a part of your day. I call him my miracle baby because he survived. When we couldn't find my son's heartbeat, the doctors and nurses at Kaiser Permanente sprang into action and saved his life. They took care of me beginning to end, and that let me focus on my baby. It's really changed my perspective on what medical care can be. My husband and I are just so thankful he's alive today because of them. World-class maternity care for all that is you. Kaiser Permanente. You're watching Spectrum Sports. We all know that movement is like medicine, but getting the movement you need to feel better can be a challenge. Now you can keep fit while you sit with QB, the world's leading compact seated elliptical. QB gives you active sitting letting you burn calories and keep moving in an easy and low impact way. All while you work, read, or watch TV. QB was named a top 10 gift by Time Magazine and has been featured all over the world. It's whisper quiet while it works your abs and core, hip flexors, glutes, quads, hamstrings, and calves. QB is a lifesaver for me. Here's your answer to your problem. I feel young again. Join the hundreds of thousands of people moving more with QB. Call to find out how to get your QB with free shipping and a 30-day completely risk-free trial. You'll also get this QB workout mat free. Now keep fit while you sit with QB. To order, call 800-913-7351. That's 800-913-7351. Call now. Friday. The University of Hawaii looks to end its series against the Stanford Cardinal on a high note. Rainbow Warrior Volleyball, only on Spectrum Sports.
Highlights tonight one Hawaii and Stafford. We start off with the Cardinals starting center, Nathan Litsky, who kind of filled up the stat sheet here this evening. He had six kills on the night, 32 assists. He had three service aces, three digs, and a block. His counterpart, the Hawaii starting center, Fred Rosenthal, sent Hawaii to a 346 hitting percentage. Fred, Fred also had a couple of kills. He had 39 assists, and he also had a couple of service aces. Talking about aces, how about Spiros Hawkins? He came out on fire from set number one, and he never slowed down. 15 big kills for the Greek native, who hit 367 on the night. Threw in a couple of blocks, eight digs, and a service ace. And Alekai Todd with a career night for him, the young man with 17 kills from that opposite spot. Hit a robust 367, nine digs, and just kept Hawaii's offense balanced with those cross court shots and the occasional line shot as well as Hawaii takes the first matchup against number five Stanford in four. From Spectrum Sports, it's the Hawaii Honda Dealers post game show. Time now to take a look at the final stats. They're brought to you by Steve's Plumbing, and the numbers look pretty good on the side of the University of Hawaii as you see UH out hitting Stanford 346 to buck 53. Hawaii with 11 blocks to four for the Cardinal, and Hawaii winning the serving and passing game, six aces and only 10 hitting errors as UH drops the opening set and then wins the next three to improve to nine and one on the year. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. Scott, James, and Ryan. Well, that first set was kind of a back and forth affair. The Cardinal were pretty much in control, and then it's like UH flipped a switch after that. Well, you know, I think a really crucial play and part of this match was that third set. I mean, it was going back and forth, and Stanford was really making a run at the end. Boy, very lucky to get uh, some heads up play. They actually set a three ball to Kurt Nusser, which I thought was a surprising play set coming out of the timeout. And Kurt comes out with a block. I think it, it could have been a much different match uh, if that third set went back and forth. Uh, but really, I think that really pushed Hawaii, elevated them, and we saw that complete blowout in set number four. Hawaii also just really cleaned up their offense. Tread found a very good rhythm with all their hitters, and the Cardinals started making a lot of errors. They ended up with 25 errors compared to Hawaii's 15 errors, and it just got out of touch. And the Cardinals in that first set were so in sync, but lost it kind of as they went, and I don't want to say they gave up in that fourth set, but they definitely looked a little bit distraught. You know, I remember talking to Charlie last week and we were talking about the blocking because the numbers weren't great as a team in terms of blocking. He says, they will get better as our competition gets better. Hawaii with 11 and a half blocks tonight. Yeah, and a lot of those blocks, I mean, Hawaii did get some uh, really great touches and blocks, as we'll see here. But because of the speed of Stanford's offense, uh, it makes things a lot easier to block if the wing blockers are in position. That's the play that ended set number three, which was huge for Hawaii. But a lot of those blocks came on tip attempts by Stanford that Hawaii was just in place, in good position, and was able to put the ball back down. I think it's more about the Stanford's offense and the setting at times were off more than Hawaii really being that dominant blocking team. I also think it also came from the hitters kind of knowing a little bit more of what they were doing. We've seen Hawaii play a couple of opponents where it's kind of a coin flip of what's going to happen. They were a lot more sturdy. They were playing at a higher level. It was a bigger height of the antenna of the swings, something more that Hawaii's used to blocking in their gym. And again, it was big man volleyball tonight. You know, you look at the opposite position the last, I don't know, seven, eight years, Steinbon Tilburg. Rado Parapunov last year, Demi. You can add Alakai to that list as well. He has proven that he is a legit opposite. He really has, and the biggest thing for me with Alakai is we've seen him become a lot more comfortable in the starting lineup. In the beginning of the season, it was a little bit shaky, and again, earning that starting spot can be a little scary at times, but he's calmed down and he's finally proven what Charlie Wade said at the end of the game of how he's been one of the best oppos in the gym for the past six years playing behind those kinds of players. He's just kind of found his regiment. He's trusted his game a lot more. He's not trying to get too fancy, keeping the ball super high. And he's playing at an incredibly high level. It's just exciting for me to see that being shown to the world because I've seen it in the practice gym mm -hmm. before. 
Well, I think another impressive thing is just his uh, service churns. I mean, he did not have a service error in this entire match. He had 14, 15 runs uh, from the service line. And another surprising thing is his defense. Yeah. Uh, for being as tall as he is, playing in that right back position, uh, he's playing some fantastic defense as well. Spiros Hawkins is the floor captain when he's out there. And, you know, he didn't play at all last week. He and Chaz got a break, a load management, if you will. But he came out with his A game from the very first serve. Well, I mean, you could really tell in just the spring in his step and just his overall demeanor uh, was just at a different level. We saw at times him, he was going over blockers. And this is a big physical Stanford team uh, that Spiro's just made it look easy out there. Uh, there's a lot of talk about some great players and his name has to be in the conversation for National Player of the Year when looking at some of the best in the country. He really has to. And the biggest thing that I saw from Spiros tonight was the leadership on the court. He didn't get over emotional with his teammates when things were going a little bit shaky, but more he was bringing them up. He was giving credit to Tread for a lot of those sets, giving credit to Eleo Choi for the high ball setting. He was giving credit where credit was deserved. And he's really stepping in to be a very good leader for these Warriors, someone that they can look up to when things get a little bit chaotic and just calm them down. But again, I think the emotion that he portrayed on the court tonight was a huge advantage for the Rainbow Warriors. Good start to the weekend for the Bows. They pick up a four set victory over number five Stafford. Eleo Choi is gonna join us in the corner. Hello. I got me a paradise. It's your paradise, too. Go from Mauka to Makai in style. In a Honda Accord, the perfect island ride. Eye-catching, comfortable, loaded with tech, and ready for your next holo holo across town. Get the fun started now in a new Accord for just $2.49 a month. Or any new Accord with low 2.9% APR. See a Hawaii Honda dealer today. Tell him Henry sent you. At Bank of Hawaii, nothing's more important than the peace of mind knowing your hard-earned savings are safe and secure. So you can send a child down the aisle or a grandchild on the graduation trip of a lifetime. To help you save more and earn more, Bank of Hawaii is offering a special rate on our six-month CD special. So trust your hard-earned savings to the only bank in Hawaii ranked one of America's most trusted companies by Newsweek, Bank of Hawaii. Hey, can I get a Virginia? A what? Hey, can I? Monikin. Hi, Hi, Kim, please. Me? Wait, how do you spell it? Any kid. The green one? Ah. Hackerman? Yes. Oh, just call Steve's. You've seen our trucks everywhere, and there's a reason why. Steve's Plumbing and AC is always on, offering same-day service from the island's most trusted team. Your Ohana can expect a plumber that's clean, prompt, and always with aloha. This month, get clogged toilets or slow drains flowing with Steve's Drain Clearing for only $89. Get the yuck on stock. Call or book online today. Steve's Plumbing and AC Service. Just call Steve's. Welcome back to the Hawaii Honda Dealers post-game show. Back inside Simplify Arena, Stan Sheriff Center, where Hawaii takes care of business, knocking off number five, Stafford, in four. And in part to the work of Hawaii's starting libero, this guy right next to me, Ileo Choi. First off, congratulations. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. And I think the number one question is, how's your dog Skippy doing? Oh, uh, he's lively and well, <laughs> and he's still a rascal. But for the most part, he's good. <laughs> and Bailey's taking, Bailey and Rahe are taking good care of him. Okay, that's good to know because last year we had Ilea, we had him give a shout out. And one of the shout outs was to your dog, Skippy, who's one of your buddies, right? Mm -hmm. What kind yeah. of dog is he, by the way? A golden retriever. Oh, nice, nice. Now let's talk about the match. Okay. And, and, and I was talking to you, I mean, you went up against the number five team. They were serving pretty tough tonight and you handled it very, very well. How much confidence do you have now having been out there for now 10, 10 matches. I mean, the main thing was that like, all my teammates on the court helped give, gave me that confidence, especially that we've been on the court so long. And but yeah, I mean, like it's been, it's been a long time since, yeah, I'm stuttering my words, but like, yeah, my teammates really gave me a lot of confidence. You, you know, when you 
you guys are coming off of the road trip and, and beyond just this match. I want to just kind of rewind the clock. You learn a lot about a team when you're on the road. How was the road trip overall? Do you think that was an opportunity to bond? Uh, how were the personalities with this team, with a lot of players coming for the first time? Uh, how was that experience uh, with the team and how do you think road trips help the team overall? Well, you do learn a lot of new things about your teammates. Not, but it was, it was such a wonderful bonding moment. It was very cold, so we were definitely close together, <laughs> wearing two layers of jackets. But yeah, I mean, it was a rough start in the road trip, but I thought we handled pretty well at the end. Who's the messiest guy on the road? The messiest guy. I feel like if I say something, I might... No, it's okay. I might, no. <laughs> I'll protect you. I'll just, on, I'll just say me. I'll just say me. I don't believe that one. <laughs> Hello, you seem a lot more relaxed on the court. One of my favorite things to always watch is, regardless of how far the ball is from you, you always hustle to go for it. Kind of talk to us about the mentality going into this season, knowing that libero spots opened up. Um, and again, you were definitely one of the most uh, number one picks for it, but the relaxed state that you have this year compared to last year, talk to us a little bit about the mentality change that you've had and gaining that confidence and being a little bit more relaxed on the court. Again, I mean, my teammates, like, they're wonderful teammates in the practice gym. Like, they always push me. And since since the starting libero spot was open, the main focus was, like, my team needs me out there and I got to give them what I got. And in terms, of, like, for the balls, even though I... Even though I might not get it, like if you keep going at it, like the probability of just keep doing it, you're bound to get one, and that's a game that could be a game changer. We know that you also are involved as a, as a coach uh, during you know the offseason. I mean, what are some of the things that uh, you kind of try to teach to your kids and your players uh, that you hope that they are seeing in you out here on the court? Um, effort, heart, heart for the game, just effort. We teach them the four efforts: vocal, mental, emotional. And, ooh, I, oh no. <laughs> and the fourth one. And the fourth one. Uncle Coach Barney is going to be a little disappointed. <laughs> Sorry, Coach Barney. <laughs> Slash my dad. <laughs> you know, you're one of the veterans. Even though this is your first year starting, you've been in the program for five years. Do you feel like a leader when you're out there? Uh, well, I feel like everyone on the team can be a leader because we, we lead by example or vocally or on the court, off the court, just as a person overall, your personality. But other than that, I think we all affect each other of how we play and how we are as people. You know, you play at the highest level and you're juggling one of the hardest majors that you oh. can have. <laughs> and I know I've had a lot of conversations with you about it, how it does stress you out. How do you find that balance to be doing engineering and playing at the highest level with now the currently number three ranked team in the country? Now, I'm gonna be honest, but just definitely have a lot of good friends, and I really got to shout out to my engineering <laughs> friends. Kai Epsilon, ASCE, you guys are awesome. Love you guys. What, what kind of engineering do you want to get into? The guy that drives the train, or what do you want to do? Uh, so engineer, <laughs> kind of like kind of like the roads and um, yeah, we football need more fields. Engineers. Yes, <laughs> that's why I picked it too. <laughs> As we look ahead to Stanford on thir uh, Friday night, what are some of the things that you think you guys are going to need to do in order to prepare and to pull off another win against this very good team? I mean, Stanford, like, they're going to come in harder on Friday, and we just got to prepare ourselves and definitely um, keep up our serve-receive serve and just be ready for anything. All right, Ileo, it's time now uh -oh. to give up <laughs> your very well-known, fun, energetic, <laughs> Shout out. Keep it within a couple of minutes, please. Okay, ready, set, go. Thank you, Dad, Mom, Bailey, Rahidi, Skippy, Pepper. That's our new dog, by the way. What kind of dog is <laughs> Pepper? Uh, Burmese mountain dog. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, thank you, the E-Man clan. And also, love you, Uncle Lane, up there. And love you, and love you um, my Popo and Gungun. And stand with everything. I got any cats, birds? Oh, definitely not a cat. I'm not a cat person. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, happy New Year. Happy Chinese New Year. Oh, yeah. Gong Yifa Choi. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Choi. perfect. <laughs> On that note, we say thanks to Leo Choi. Terrific job again tonight, and we look forward to seeing you on the floor on Friday. Thank you, thank you for having me. Go, Bos. All right, we'll take a break. Come back. We'll have some final thoughts. Hawaii wins in four. Taco Bell is so good and so cheap.